the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel, uh, very rarely do you see crispy dogs on a menu. But when you do, you order them. Of course you do. And these crispy dogs might be the best crispy dogs I've had. Now, granted, I haven't had them like Joe Reinagle does them, but they were telling me they, they, they smoke their dogs here on their, on their pit outside. And, yeah, I mean, it's a hell, of a, a hell of a hot dog, but a hell of a crispy dog. Now, I'm curious, is that, uh, is that a corn tortilla? Corn tortilla, you know, back in my day in Alice, Texas, yeah. you know, you go to the snack bar, you get crispy dogs, and they, they were different. They were not as good as these, Whoa. but you wrap them in a corn tortilla, stick a toothpick in there, and, you know, put some cheese on it and throw it in the deep fryer. It was fantastic, but I, I kind of grew up on crispy dogs. You know, that's, that, was a, that was a staple. Where I grew up. I tried making crispy dogs one time in the air fryer, and it was a colossal failure. I'll never do that again. They can't do it in the air fryer. Dude, if you're trying to make crispy dogs healthy, you're screwed well, from well, the beginning. Uh, well, first All off, right. you know me and eating healthy are two, two things that don't go in the same sentence, right? Well, then why the hell were you doing it in the air fryer? Well, because what other thing am I going to use at the house that could act somewhat as a fryer? Well, you go out to the store and buy a deep fryer. Well, I don't have one of those, and I'm not going to go buy a deep fryer, although uh, my heart doctor would probably encourage that because I make a lot of fried <laughs> shrimp and, and other things. But I, I don't have a deep fryer at home, so you know we were trying to make them with the air fryer because in that you know you're supposed to be able to do things in an air fryer that you know, multi-purpose. It, it did not work. I won't try it again. I'm not recommending you try that. Now, deep fryers, uh, not deep fries, air fryers serve their purpose. But if you're going to do a crispy dog, you, you can't. You got to get a deep fryer, oil, grease, the whole thing, and, and do it right. I mean, that's just the way it is. There's do no you, substitute for that. Do you have a deep fryer at your house? I do, a very small one. Yeah, but it's perfect for crispy dogs. Man. Perfect. And how often do you do these? You know, I, I haven't done them in a while. My, my when was the last time you actually used the uh, fryer thing at your house? Yeah, it's probably been a while. Uh -huh. because. Uh, but my kids liked my crispy dogs. So it was a treat for them, like on a Saturday afternoon, lunch or whatever. You know, they, they'd uh, ask to, if I could fry up some crispy dogs. And so I would do that, being the great dad that I am. Yeah. I was I'm sure that's that's a great idea, kids. Now, I, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, the of, of all five of your daughters. Uh, Kel, uh, Kel, uh, Casey is probably the one I know the best. Uh -huh. I yeah. don't see her saying, hey, dad, whip up some crispy dogs. So, I could see you saying, kids, we're having crispy dogs for dinner. No. I. You know, well, the next time you see Casey, you ask her that question. I will. You're going to be shocked at the answer. All right. Yeah. But that's it. You know, I, I grew up with them, and, and uh, I make a pretty good crispy dog, If you, just between you and me. Damn good, actually. Well, I'm, I'm glad you've invited me over. All those, and, you know, let's have crispy dogs. It's never <laughs> well, happened. If, if you'd like to do that, I, I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. I, I mean, just saying. I have no problem with that. J just saying. That's never been offered. No, I, it I, hasn't. I, it's I, a... You know, I, I'm not sure that a, a Yankee like yourself would, uh, you know, would be, uh, you know, a would, would, like like, myself. would like crispy. Yeah. Wow. You're way up in yeah, Copper's Cove. <laughs> yes. Uh, two hours away. Exactly. Damn Yankee. North. Yeah. You're, North. you're well, Yankee. Well, well, I mean, but you're from Alice. So That's basically exactly you right. call a San Antonian uh, a Yankee then. No, by, no, no. By no. that calculation. Once you get to, you know, I don't know, Selma. Selma. That, then you're, you know. It's... So the poor people in New Braunfels are calling those northerners? <laughs> Yankees. Yankees. All of them. Yeah. The <laughs> Universal City shirts. I mean, that, that's just north of Selma, is it not? Yeah, but they're, they're okay. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, they're in. Yeah. The borderline damn yeah. Yankees. And I, I would probably go all the way past maybe even San Marcos. Yeah, you get in Austin, man. You might as well just. just... Forget about All it. All right, but that's if you go 35 because your geography sucks. You realize the fastest way to Copper's Cove from here is 281. Okay. You know, you go through uh, Johnson City. You go through Burnett. You go through Marble Falls. Yeah. And, and then you get the Lamb Passes, and you take a right on 190, and then you're in Copper's Cove. Right, but you're going north on 281, are you yeah, not? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. But that, that, that makes them Yankee. So you're going to call somebody in Marble Falls a Yankee. Well, yeah, go to Burnett <laughs> and go to the town square there in uh, – yeah, you know, start telling those people they're Yankees. 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 All of you. Yeah. And ah. then, you, then you get the Lampasas. 
I mean, there are still some backwards areas in this state, and that's that, one of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are. But, you know, it's, it's South Texas is uh-huh. South Texas. And you get into, I mean, just the, the phrasing of it. South Texas, you, which I include San Antonio in, uh-huh. right? And then you get up around Austin, that's Central Texas. Yeah. yeah. Right? So it's just a different vibe. But, but it's not North Texas. Like, like if you're talking to Dallas, they've uh-huh. got North Texas in their name. You know, somebody from like Arlington or Fort Worth, you could call them a Yankee because they, they put North in their name. What region do you live? North Texas. Although I kind of give the people in Fort Worth a little bit of a break. They're more cow people than, say, the people in Dallas. Dallas. Well, that's why they call that cow town. A little more refined people than, I, than the folks in Fort Worth. No offense to the folks in Fort Worth. I, I, Dallas. Just more cow people than, I, I, than others. I, I don't know what you mean by cow people, but I know that Dallas has more $30,000 a year millionaires than in, anywhere else on the planet. Oh, wait, wait a second. Explain that. $30,000 a year for millionaires. For people that act like they're millionaires that make $30,000 a year. Well, I mean, if you're a single dude in Dallas, you better be a millionaire or you're going to go home with a two. Well, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> you know exactly what it I means. Uh, uh, I mean, that's Fletch. He knows. He knows. But yeah, he knows. <laughs> you know, but a two up there, and depending on what time you're going home with the two. Well, it depends on what your condition is. I mean, at, at, at 2 o'clock, that 2 looks like a 10. It's when you wake up at 8 yeah. o'clock and that 2 uh, looks like a 1. Yeah, well, I, I mean, that's what Uber is for. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was a young man, rabble-rousing like that. Rabble-rousing? Yeah, there, were, there were no Ubers. Uh, is when you're chewing your arm off to get yeah, the hell exactly, out of there? Yes, you chew your arm off to get uh-huh. the hell out. Mm-hmm. Woo! You doing all right? Oh, it's a good thing these arms grew back. <laughs> oh, really? Really? I mean, it, it really is one of those things. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Come hang out with us, our golf tournament after party. It's been a great day. Uh, I'm sure uh, most of your brackets look like crap. If you claim that you still have a great bracket, we want you to lie to all of us. 210-656-ESPN, 656-656. Three seven seven six. Last night, uh, that A and M Houston game was one of the better games of the tournament so far. And if A and M could hit a damn free throw, they would still be playing. And I'd really be crying today because I have Houston winning the national championship. We'll talk about the tournament as we continue here on the Blitz on ninety four one San Antonio Sports Star. You know me. You listen to this show enough. You know the Roop Hub is my go to spot there at two eighty one and Redland Road. Well, with those three massive 170 inch screens, TVs all around, the Roop Hub is the place for any big game, any big fight. They carry all the UFC fights and the food at the Roo. Fantastic. All made from scratch. They got the biggest and best wings in town. About 15 different burgers on the menu. And that kitchen is open late till 2 a.m. every day with the full menu available. Happy hour weekdays from 11 to 6. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night. And the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub next to the Angry Elephant. 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Sherry, what have you done to your hair? What do you mean? Does it not look good? It doesn't look good. It looks freaking amazing. I can't believe how thick and healthy it looks. Oh, just. No, it's hair volume from New Nordic. Hair volume, huh? Well, it certainly lives up to its name. Your hair has never looked so thick. It is gorgeous. I was so tired of having thin and brittle hair. Ugh, and the shedding. So I figured I'd give hair volume a try. Needless to say, I'm thrilled with the results. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to pick up some hair volume right now. My reunion's next month, and I want my hair to look as good as yours. Hair volume is the best-selling hair tablet in the world and one of many award-winning natural health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at newnordicusa.com or your local Walgreens, Rite Aid, or CVS. Available as a tablet or delicious gummy. Help your hair look full, voluminous, and beautiful again at new, N-O-R-D-I-C-U-S-A.com, Walgreens, Rite Aid, or CVS. And now another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. That doesn't sound good. 
paper shredder is jammed, but I think I fixed it. Oh, well, try shredding these $50 bills then. Seems like it's working. Mm, better try another 400 bucks. Stop. Instead of using money, use regular paper. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dnpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Bonus offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man, that's under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... <laughs> To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gamblers insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Flight by Yingling is the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends but craft them, Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling, available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. The Jim Rome Show. Hey, Jim Rome here. And back in the military city of San Antonio. Weekdays at noon on 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minnix. Glad to have you along on this Monday afternoon. I see you on... Uh, our YouTube channel, and you should subscribe and go watch as well on the YouTube channel, San Antonio Sports Star. Hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. John Sobery, which is an interesting name uh, on a day like today for our golf tournament, calling it <laughs> Sunday Monday, which, you know, generally you think about the old Bengals song, you know, Manic Monday, but yeah, today yeah. certainly was a fun day Monday for those out at the uh, Golf Club of Texas for a big uh, spring golf tournament, which, you know, completely sold out tournament. Uh, we when we left around twelve forty five to come over here to ninety proof bar and grill. Um, everybody out there on the course. Let, let let's say they were all well hydrated. Yeah, I would say that uh, that's an accurate statement. Everybody was having a good time. We had, there's plenty of uh, of uh, scenery. Uh, well, that too. Yes. but adult beverages uh, all along the course. And uh, yeah, it was a fun time. Everybody's having a good time. It seemed like. Uh, Responsibly, of course. Himself. And, of course, the weather turned out fantastic. I mean, it rained overnight, but, man, about, what, 10 o'clock? The sunshine, it was beautiful. Well, I would say when we teed off at 9, it was, you know, still a little chilly, but not bad. Yeah. Uh, now, granted, grumpy ass Greg Shelton, because, you know, karma. You know, we all know how Greg loves his job. And he's been bitching about this for a while, like he always does. But it may be even a little more so with, with the bitching. But he had to get out there at, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the morning to set up for the morning show. Uh -huh. 
And the original plan is those guys are going to be outside over there by the 10 cup bar there at golf club of Texas. And of course, Greg, because karma had a driving rainstorm that he had to deal with early in the morning. And I think that rain was just for Greg because, you know, you're going to bitch. We're going to rain on your parade. Sure. And, and, and as soon as everything was set up and perfect, all, the rain stopped and the weather was perfect. I, that was all a, a middle finger to one Greg Shelton. Well, and I, your yard thanks you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it was, too. And I heard that Shelton was in rare form this morning uh, as he was trying to uh, perform miracles and move from one to the other, and he, but he got it done. I mean, you well, know, that's it. That's the thing about Greg. He's going to bitch about everything, but he gets the job done. It, well, yes, yes, and it, but I mean, the level of bitching this morning from Greg Shelton was next level. Like, like we've all seen Greg in certain moves, and apparently he went up three notches to where even where Rob Thompson is like, I've got to go to another room, and then text RJ. Go through this door. Avoid all eye contact with Greg Shelton. Yes. I mean, like, literally, it, and we're seeing stuff on a group chat that has nothing to do with us. Uh, and, and then, you know, of course, everything gets set up on the porch there where it probably should have been in the first place where you're not worrying about the weather. But, you know, Greg always likes a challenge. And, you know, he wanted it to be way over there just to see if he could get it done. And, of course, the rain said, yeah, Greg, you're going to bitch a lot. I'm going to rain on you. And, uh Enjoy getting up at 4 a.m. Not to mention the fact that when he went to the station at 3 to get everything, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning, mind you, um, he was in the van and looked back and realized, well, he, he, he doesn't have most of what he needs because, you know, I don't know. Why would you check to see what's in the van before you started driving? Just assuming that everything's going to be in there. So well, he's he's in a really good mood. He's in a great mood. Yeah. He said it's uh, it's been one of those days. I won't use the the words he used. Well, we can't, I can't do we, that. We like our jobs. Yes. Yeah, so, but uh, he, he's calmed down now because you know. Uh, let's face it, Jason. This is the best part of his day. It's been a bad day, but you know he knew coming over here the blitz for the next four hours. He's he's in a great mood he, now. He's, he is well, and and look, I've worked with Greg a long time. I, I've I've worked I've, I've worked with Greg a long time. I bought him lunch. Yeah. So he's 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 had some uh, brisket jalapeno poppers. Wow. And uh, I would like to tell you if they were good or not, but he didn't offer to share. And and then uh, they brought us some of these uh, brisket nachos. And talking to the people here at Ninety Proof Bar and Grill, they smoke all their meats. They uh, here at the location, they smoke about fifteen briskets. Uh, and they go through them. Those brisket nachos look incredible. They do. They look fantastic. Uh, it's hard to eat and talk at the same time. But if you're watching I, on YouTube, I, I don't. I, can you see those on YouTube? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I, 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 I don't see I don't them know. on my oh, screen. Yeah, maybe I need to pull them up. I here. mean, you would think 25 years in television, you would know how to use a prop on television. Well, it, it's still not on tele. It's still not on the screen. Well, where the hell's it got to be? There you go. Well, you got to get inside the camera shot. Holy sir. cow! I, I mean. <laughs> you know what might be easier? Hang on. Hey, uh, let, we're we're gonna improvise. Bring them down that way. Hold on. Put, put them right, over right. here. Uh -huh. hey, let me adjust your camera down. All right. Look at there is a beautiful shot of those nachos. Well, is it? I mean, better than what you were showing because you were showing the bottom of a basket. <laughs> it's a beautiful go. basket. It is a pretty basket. Yeah. I mean, you know, you need to know that your food is in a great container. Yes, absolutely. Well, there you go. This is the brisket nachos here at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, and uh, they look fantastic. Next commercial break, I'll let you know for sure. Yeah, but they look good. Yes, they, they, they passed do. the visual test. Absolutely. But uh, based on the crispy dog, the hot dog, I, I would say, and knowing that was a smoked hot dog, I would say that brisket's going to be damn good. Uh, it's going to be far better than bracket looks like at this point because – Everybody's bracket is ugly at this point. If you're one of the few that still have a good bracket, congratulations on letting your dog pick for you. Because that's the only way. Anybody that says that they they only have one or two teams missing or they're still perfect, they're full of crap. What do you mean one or two teams missing from what? Like their Sweet 16. Dude, I've only got one Final Four team missing. Well, uh, well Final Four is different than Sweet 16, sir. Well, I mean, so obviously I've got a lot of teams still alive. Yes. So I'm I, I so I can't go with your little uh, thing that everybody's bracket is bad because well, mine's pretty damn good. I, I mean, a, again, following the logic, 
It, a lot Good of people, a lot of people have a lot of losses, right? <laughs> but if your final four, if you've got seventy five percent of your final four, you're still in great shape because the majority of the people that you know, say if you're missing Baylor, well, the gazillion brackets also had Baylor, so everybody's got are going to have those same losses all the way through. If your champion is still alive, you're in great shape. Um, If your championship game is 50% there, it depends. You might be screwed. Like I had Baylor and Houston in my championship game. Um, So I might be screwed in those brackets that come down that have money involved. (laughs) Yeah, you might be. And honestly, I had Baylor in the championship game too. So um, uh, Baylor, dude, I'm watching that game and just wanted to throw things at the TV. You know, they call them free throws for a reason. Here we go. They're free. There's not a hand in your face. Nobody's impeding your ability to shoot. And yet Baylor found a way to clank a bunch of free throws off, especially at the end. Had a chance to tie the game with under a minute to play. And some 80% free throw shooter misses both. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. Well, and then A and M was just as bad last night. Well, I, I, A and M. I mean, Baylor fans have to be sick. But if you are an A and M fan, I, I it's beyond right. I mean, Baylor was expected to win. It was an upset, and you could look at it. But when you've got a chance to upset a team, you got a chance to upset the number one team in the country. Uh, the you know a one seed at the very least, and. Granted, they're your neighbors. The rivalry between A and M and Houston, and by by all accounts, Texas A and M should have won that game. But they go twenty nine of forty five from the free throw line. It's unbelievable. They had so many opportunities, and you know when Houston went up late, three minutes, four minutes to go, I thought it was over, and for A and M to rally. And that game, to, that play to send it to overtime was one of the best drawn-up basketball plays and executed to perfection that I've seen in a long time. To send a game to overtime, everything went right. And at that point, if you're a and how do you not close that thing out? You got all that momentum. And by the way, every starter for Houston except one is on the on the bench fouled out. You're playing against a fifth-year senior who had taken two free throws or four free throws, whatever it was, all year long. He has to play in that game. You talk about a guy who probably had to check his shorts afterwards because when Coach Sampson said, you're in, um, but he went out there and he hit one or two uh, free throws to seal the win for Houston. But if you're an Aggie, after last night's game, you've just got to be sick to your stomach. Yeah, you do, and you're wondering the same thing I'm wondering today. The hell are they not? Are they not practicing free throws? Uh, do, can you just not handle the pressure from the free throw line? I mean, it's a free throw. It should be pretty automatic. Well, I mean, it really should be. I mean, if you're a basketball player of that level, a free throw should be automatic. Dude's eighty percent means he made a lot of free throws during the regular season, and then he clanks two off. Two off. That game's different. Baylor's still alive today. If that dude hits those free throws, well, I blame him. Well, I, I mean, there's that. You know, for the Aggies, Radford, you know, six of eleven. What was that? His line, six of eleven. I mean, you know, it. What you know? That's the crazy thing. Is for for A and M, it was across the board. You know, everybody had a couple of misses. Nobody was just awful, except Radford being six of eleven. But you know, two of four, one of two, eight of nine, four of six, six of 11, five of seven, three of four, oh, it's, it's like somebody knocked down some of those free throws and you could be moving on to Dallas this weekend in the sweet 16. Yeah. And, and um, they're free. And, they're free. Well, yeah. Free money. Yeah. It's free. Uh huh. Free. You don't have to pay for it. You know, Baylor and AM were shooting like they're going to get charged per made shot. Well, I, I, I mean, looking at some of the YouTube comments about Shaq and others that suck at free throws. It is always, isn't it always kind of interesting? Those that can't make free throws. Now I, I, I get it to a degree sometimes in the clutch, 
all the pressure, everybody's watching in, you clank one. Uh, it's frustrating as hell because you're a pro. Some can do it, others can't. But A&M early, and you're leaving all those free points out there. And then some of the, I don't want to say dumb basketball plays, but A&M played such a smart game. They played such a, a scrappy game. You know, compared, like, Texas – I have no idea how the Longhorns managed to stay in that game (laughs) because they didn't play a good basketball game. Fortunately, neither did Tennessee, for that matter. Neither team could shoot. And every time Tennessee was like, hey, Longhorns, you take this one and just go win, uh, they would do something stupid. I mean, I expected and picked Texas to lose that game. Yet angry at the way that they lost that game because, you know, Tennessee did everything they could to let the Longhorns move on. Well, I just uh, I saw some great basketball over the weekend, even though I was distracted with uh, – we had house guests all weekend. But still, I managed to get in. That Creighton game uh, was simply fantastic. Double overtime. You had a double overtime yesterday, I believe. I mean, there was just uh, – it was a lot of fun. And the way that the, uh, uh, the NCAA tournament is supposed to be, although not a lot of mayhem. Then this one, a lot of the top seeds, the big schools that are supposed to be there are there. And uh, so it should make an interesting, uh, not only this weekend, but then, of course, Final Four weekend. Ought to be a lot of fun. Well, I mean, you know, somebody I know was saying, if you go chalk, you have no stones. But, you know, uh, in, in reality, although we, had, we, we did see our fair share of upsets. I mean, Yale, remember, they were smart and not, you know, they got drove last night. But. Overall, you're right. I mean, the NCAA tournament always delivers, right? Uh, always, yes. It, it always delivers. And now you look at, like, the matchups this weekend in the Sweet 16, it looks like it's going to be a great Thursday, Friday. Just set your alarms or be prepared to stay up late. People are already complaining to agree about to, to a degree about some of the start times, especially for those second games in those cities. But you're going to stay up and watch because the matchups are there. And with what we've seen, you're going to have the compelling storylines. You're going to have the surprises. You're going to have great games like A&M in, in Houston last night or colossal WTFs like you got with Baylor. Um, you know, I, I mean, you know, Kentucky's gone. I mean, the SEC had a horrible weekend, which – I kind of enjoyed after Sankey said the mid-majors don't belong. And the SEC went out there and did not have a great showing this weekend. Not horrible. What Tennessee is the only team left in the uh, SEC, if I'm not mistaken. The Big 12 hasn't done all that well either, quite frankly. And the Big 12 was uh, turning into a basketball conference, supposedly. Um, so they're not doing all that great. Look, it's the uh, – I, I love the fact that uh, y- your boy Shaka Smart uh-huh. yesterday, he, he crying in his – you know, his post-game interview, uh, they came through and, and won a tough game. And, uh, you know, you like to see that. You like to see the Creightons win the games. And that Illinois, my pick of uh, that nobody said would be any good. It's Big Ten, ben, Illinois. Now, nah, they're in the Sweet 16. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's just I, I like seeing some of these other schools do well. Uh, UConn's going to be tough to beat. I don't think there's any question about that. They are there for real. Purdue looked outstanding yesterday. Um, so it's going to be tough down the stretch. But, yeah, I do say that. You have no stones if you just rode chalk and picked all the number one seeds to be in the in the final four. You got no stones. Even if you, that turns out to be true, you still have no stones. Yeah. Now, as far as the SEC goes, Tennessee and Alabama are still alive. But of the Big 12, the basketball conference that is, you got the Houston Cougars left, and and that's it. Um Gonzaga of the big name school there. I, I thought this Mark View team hasn't been what it is. I'm surprised Gonzaga's still alive. To, I am to, too. To be honest, they they just come to play though when it comes to the NCAA tournament. I mean, yep. they come to play. It's the way that it is. It's uh, you know I don't know what it is, but I, I, their streak. I think they've made seven straight Sweet Sixteen appearances. This makes their seventh straight. So. Um, hey, you get it done in the postseason. That's where the money is made. It's in the postseason, not in the regular season, in the postseason. Yeah. On uh, YouTube, John Robbins says free throws were a known issue all year. I'm uh, more upset about the soft defense to start OT instead of pressing 
And the last time out, Buzz called in overtime to getting an easy bucket to pull within two with 13 seconds left. There was that that decision, and John Robbins is right on that. When Buzz called a timeout, even the announcer dude was like, "Yeah, I wouldn't have done that, but he's the coach." Like, like, <laughs> like it just seemed odd. Um, and the way Houston was fouling out. You know, all you had to do was try to get that to, I don't know, a triple overtime, and they would have had to pull kids from the band to be able to finish that game. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Eggies, Crazy stuff. No Eggies, doubt. man, that was, that, that's a tough pill to swallow, that is for sure. Kind of like uh, being a fan of the Dallas Cowboys and watching Jerry Jones literally doodle, which is kind of how you feel like his offseason plan has been. Jerry doodling yesterday at the NFL owners' meetings, well, it created a, a, a lot of good talk about, well, doodling. We'll doodle about it coming up here on The Blitz. Live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. Come hang out with us here on The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Well, everybody heard it because that's all we talked about today was the rainstorms from last night. And we're in that time of year. That's what happens here in San Antonio and South Texas. Thunderstorms, rain, sometimes a company with hail, all of that stuff, which means your roof needs to be in tip-top shape. One name in roofing that stands high above the rest is Stevens Roofing, of course. Because a quality roof overhead by Stevens Roofing means comfort, it means confidence, it means peace of mind, protection for all the things that you love. Look, a couple of things. If you want to make sure your roof is up to snuff for these storms that you know are coming, call Stevens Roofing. If you've had some hail at your house and you think your house or your roof might be damaged, call Stevens Roofing. Because when you're in the market for repairs or replacement roof and upgrade, you want to work with the experienced team that brings local roots, value, and a vast knowledge of the craft to every job. That is Stevens Roofing. Call them today, 210-785-0994. You can also get them online at stevensroofing.net. But don't forget that phone number and get that roof checked out. Stevens Roofing, 210-785-0994. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming. Save money with member-only offers and earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards just for you. Because Lowe's knows you earned it, literally. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Rewards. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details. Subject to change. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little gummies. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find at Total Wine and More. Spirits not sold in Virginia and North Carolina. Drink responsibly, B21. O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find a repair shop with our shop referral program. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. The LaTap Texas Cycling Races are back in San Antonio, April 12th to the 14th. Cyclists of all ages, 
Register now to ride in the 160 or 25 mile Tour de France amateur cycling events. You can run, walk, cycle, and celebrate all things Fitness Fiesta at the Athletes Village and Expo. Let Tap Texas register today at FiestaFitFest.com. Presented in part by Thomas J. Henry. Before you fire up that grill, make sure you get into Tri-County Meat Market. Hi, Jason Minix here. Tri-County Meat Market has everything you need. If you're thinking steaks, you want some chicken, some poppers, beef ribs, pork ribs, brisket, picanha, tri-tip. They've got it all at Tri-County Meat Market. Take advantage of their pick five for 25. And Tri-County always offers a 10% discount for military and first responders. Tri-County Meat Market, two locations on Ralph Air Road and on Hebner or online at tricountymeat.com. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride sharing cases, eighteen wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. My name is John. I could not lose the weight I needed to. The Institute for Functional Health Wellness Program was the answer. It included a great deal of testing, supplements, and weekly face-to-face doctor visits. I finally had the accountability I needed. I am now 50 pounds lighter. I no longer have pain in my elbow, back, and hips. I have more energy and just feel and look so much better. Call for your complimentary consultation, 210-468-1891. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. This is Joe Reinagel. You're listening to the home of the Aggies, 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagel. I'm Jay Simonix on this Monday afternoon, live at a 90 proof bar and grill on Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. It's our official golf tournament after party spot. The good news for you. If you didn't play in our golf tournament, you can still come hang out with us here at 90 Proof. Yeah, absolutely. You might as well. I mean, it's a great place. Come on in. 700 tequilas they've got on the shelf up here, but they've got everything else here as well. And uh, and the food is fantastic, by the way. So if you're hungry, no problem. The they can bris- take care of that. The brisket nachos. Good? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Crispy dogs. Uh-huh. Good. Yeah. Do it. Well, I'm sure everything's good here. Yeah. I mean, well, just uh, judging those two and. Grumpy ass Greg Shelton ate up his jalapeno brisket stuffers or whatever they were called and poppers, poppers, stuffers, stuffers, <laughs> poppers, stuffers. So it's all good. Come out and see us. Come party with us because uh, it's just a matter of time uh, before the golf kids get over here. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, they probably got another 45 minutes or something so. like that. Yeah. 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 I'll hang out a little bit at the Golf Club of Texas, especially those that think they're going to win awards. You know, the ones that work the pencil well enough today. Right. That they'll, they'll, win, uh-huh. they'll, they'll win prizes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So the NFL owners are down in Florida for the owners' meetings. There's some news coming out, like the hip drop stuff. and We'll, we'll get to that. Um, but Jerry Jones makes a lot of news yesterday just because Jerry talked in circles. And Jerry is... Uh, in the lobby of a hotel, a a shrinky one at that. And he's got the crowd of reporters around him and a notepad. And we all know this. I I mean, if you follow Jerry Jones, you know that doodle cannot sit and do nothing without a pen. He's not drawing. He's not even, you know, uh, he, he just makes, lines uh you know like a three-year-old with a crown i yep, mean yeah but he's always done that so it's not news except for i don't know that i've ever actually seen uh, his doodling other than like when he's done interviews with us and he sits there and if there is pen if there is a pen and paper nearby he will just grab it and take it and just start you know his hand is moving, right? He just, yeah. he just doodles, right? So other than when he's got up and left, I'm like, 
I wonder if I can sell this on eBay. Cherry doodling. <laughs> oh, um, yes. I, I, I mean, I, well, I, I didn't. We throw it away. Uh, but damn it, that was a missed opportunity. It was. But but uh, outside of that, uh, I mean, the fact that he's talking about his offseason plan while doodling, and if you see those pictures, especially if you zoom in on them, seeing what the Cowboys have done, it feels like we actually saw the offseason plan. <laughs> it is Jerry in the conference room doodling on a piece of paper. That's exactly, and it looks like exactly to plan with what they've done. A bunch of nothing. We can go here, we can go there, we can go yeah. here, scratch that out, and, and go from there. And, and, and look, the Cowboys want us to believe they have no money. They're up against it cap-wise. Uh, we all know they can create cap money if they want, or cap room if they want. I've said many times, if there was a player that they really wanted to go get, or keep for that matter, they could have found the money. So they have chosen, not because they can't afford a player, but they have chosen to let players leave or not participate in trying to bring them in for whatever reason. For, for whatever reason, you know, all this Tyron Smith stuff, like you said yesterday, there's no way the Cowboys could have done the incentives the way the Jets did. The reality is you guys made up your mind a year ago that this was the last year for Tyron Smith, and it was. Could they have done a deal like that? Sure. If he hits all those incentives, does it screw you up? It, it does. But instead of just being honest, like it was time for us to move on, you tried to make it sound like we couldn't afford to keep him. Everybody was calling for Tyron Smith to be gone, pretty yes. much. I yes. mean, we said it. The guy doesn't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy. So let him move on. It was time for that. The problem is, is that you knew he was going to move on. If that's a decision, but you've done nothing to replace Yes. Him. And that's the issue. I mean, it's, it's so there's one thing to say, yeah, he should be gone. That's great. But you got to have a plan B, something you're going to do in lieu of uh, a, a Tyron Smith. And it's just uh, – Again, I've seen articles on The Athletic, John Mishota talking about it, uh, some free agents that are still available out there that could help the Cowboys, and that it's it's about time. that You just wait. Things are about to start happening at Jerry World. And I'm like, well, well, well why, why, why? I, I hope so. Well, I mean, eventually <laughs> they're going to have to fill out the roster, right? Yeah, they are. And Jerry and All In and – I think those those two words, all in, when he said that at the Senior Bowl, as angry as he was with the way things ended against Green Bay, I think we thought we were going to see an aggressive Jerry Jones this offseason. Yeah. All in. He's pissed off. We're not going to – yeah, yeah uh, uh, and we've seen just the opposite. Now, Jerry can redefine what all in is, but the reality is – if he means all in by the players that are on, on the team that he wants under contract for longer, all right, then get a deal done with Dak. You know, he's been sending mixed messages through the media about Dak Prescott. Like in Indianapolis, he has insinuated that they can achieve their goals whether Dak signs an extension or not. He said yesterday there is a handful of or more of quarterbacks in, a, in the NFL right now playing that haven't won a Super Bowl that will win a Super Bowl. He said, I think Dak's one of them. I'm firm there. So at the very least, his confidence publicly in Dak Prescott being the guy that can lead this team to a Super Bowl is there. I find that interesting as I try to read the tea leaves based on his comments in Indianapolis were, yeah, we love him. But if we don't get a deal done, it doesn't screw us up. We've got a plan for whether Dak signs this extension or not. Almost as if, you know, he was starting to play chicken with, with Dak. Now it's, Dak's our guy. He's going to win us a Super Bowl. He's going to be that guy. He's capable of being that guy. Jerry's uh, always said that, though. Well, uh, Jerry has but, always but said in that. But that think he's there. But if we don't get a deal done and he becomes a free agent, we've got a plan for that. I just think the more and more that or the longer this goes on, I mean, obviously it's not good for the Cowboys because, yeah, they could find some money. They could find a lot of money uh, if they would just give Dak the extension. But they're not doing it. They're not doing it. And so they've got to go out and try to figure out ways. I've heard Trayvon Diggs' contract may be reworked uh, in some form or fashion. You still got CD out there if you're wanting to sign him. Micah Parsons is out there. Um, I mean, don't you have to see some movement somewhere? 
And for the Cowboys to not do anything and just be silent, silent. I'm not sure what, what Jerry means by this. Yeah, there are a lot of quarterbacks out there that haven't won Super Bowls. They're capable. They're NFL quarterbacks. I think most of them are capable of winning the Super Bowl. You know, I mean, you're throwing Dak into a pile of, uh, uh, you know, 20 other guys that are capable of winning well, Super Bowls. I, I mean, I, I mean, sure, I guess every starting quarterback is capable, but are they likely? I, I kind of took that as he's putting – Dak in the conversation with a Joe Burrow, with a uh, a Josh Allen, those quarterbacks that haven't won one, but we all expect them to win one. And at one point, I think Dak Prescott was in that conversation, but his glorious playoff record has taken him out of that conversation. Although I still believe if, you know, for probably, I don't know, 24, 26 teams, Dak would be an upgrade for them at their quarterback position. Is he, if you get rid of Dak, can you replace him with anybody better? And right now, the answer to that is no. So he is still your best option to try to get to that Super Bowl. But it's what do you put around him? Because Dak Prescott has proven that he is a good to great quarterback, but he's not a great quarterback that is able to lift his teammates around him and carry them to victory. Well, and, and so that just goes with the fact that you've got to put some players around him, right? You've got, he's got to have players. Cowboys aren't adding anybody, nobody. They're not doing it. And so uh, so Jerry says this, yeah, he's capable. Sure. But you know what? I, I don't care. The greatest quarterbacks in the world can't do it on their own. they got to have playmakers. And the Cowboys right now have very few, very few. And and and, and no offensive line pretty much to boot. And and you got to do something about that, and you got to do it quickly. And it, it, to me, the Jones family and Jerry is the leader of that is sending mis- mixed messages. You want to, you want to, I guess, prop up Dak and say, you know, Dak, you can do this. You're the guy. Um, but we need, you know, we, we need something else over here. I mean, Jerry's trying to play this, yeah. trying to keep Dak's head where it is and then work something else. And I think he's going a million different directions. And- well, he's, he's doodling, uh, follow the, follow the, the pen on that paper, it, it's all over the place. And nothing really accomplished when you look at the doodling. And that kind of feels like the Cowboys offseason at this point. It's a whole lot of nothing. It, it's just scribble at, at this point. Now, way too early to judge. But right now, I mean, it ain't looking good to say, yeah, the Cowboys are doing everything they can to put a championship caliber team on the field next year. Right now, it's a challenge to put a team on the field next year, the way it looks right now. And again, long way to go in free agency, but uh, hard to hard to find a bunch of uh, pro bowlers at the garage sale, if you know what yeah, I mean. It's going to be very difficult to do that. And and again, if if anybody's thinking this team is going to be any better, look, their their best opportunity just passed them by, and I just don't see this team being any better than they were last year, the circumstances being any better for them than they were last year. I mean, they're, they're, they're running uphill right now. Playing devil's advocate, just with what you just said, they missed seemingly a golden opportunity last year. Uh, A huge opportunity. If you're Jerry and Steven, Will McClay, Mike McCarthy, and you're sitting in the room, we missed this golden opportunity. How can we better what we did last year? Knowing all the contract details better than any of us do. I know all that information is public knowledge, but trust me, the Cowboys know it better than you do. Uh, Whatever story you read on the Internet, the Cowboys do know their business better than you do. If you're sitting in that room and you're thinking no matter what we do, we won't be as good as we were last year. Mm -hmm. At what point do you kind of pull back and regroup? At what point? And and is that what the Cowboys are doing? I'm not saying tank or any of that kind of stuff, but instead of just going and spending crazy to try to replace a guy, have a a little more methodical approach with maybe not just a a this year in mind, but a two-year, a three-year. I hate when the Joneses tell me about a five-year plan because, you know, five-year windows, man, in the NFL – uh, they don't stay open that long. No. You, you know, give me a three-year window. Give me a two-year window. Give me a right-now window. It, it'll be interesting to see if they've 
not kind of had a similar discussion and thought, can we be better than we were last year? Now, Jerry is telling us scheme wise, especially defensively, they think they're going to be better. You know, getting guys more playing time. Uh, last year, we had guys not getting enough. This year, those guys are going to get more playing time. Uh, depth is obviously going to be a big issue when you're going to fill a roster out the way the Cowboys are going to have to do it. So how confident are you in your ones and to a degree, your twos? And if there's an injury, you're screwed because depth will be an issue based on what we've seen them do, which is nothing essentially to this point in free agency. If the Cowboys plan is to let Dak ride this contract out all season, then it really is going to irritate the hell out of me. Because if that's your plan, and you're going to say play Mike McCarthy. You you've got to win. You got to then why don't you go all in? Why don't you do that and say this is your opportunity? You can be a rich man, get us a Super Bowl, or you'll be a Cowboys legend. We're going to put every player around you that we can possibly think of. The salary cap be damned, and we're going to get it done. Why, if that's your plan, then why not go about it that way? If you're pl- and, and if we find out that the plan is we're going to let Dak play it out, th- th- to me, that is just bonehead. I, I don't think that is the plan because I think the approach would have been different. But I think the plan is still to sign him. Problem is Dak has to want to sign him. What if Dak doesn't want to come to the table unless the money is just stupid? You know, that, I mean, he might be getting a fair market value contract offer from the Cowboys and maybe he's being a little greedy because he knows if you want me to stay and deal with five more years of this, then this is what it's going to take. Otherwise I'm going to see what I can make on the open market and go to a fan base and an organization an organization's fan base that are going to celebrate the fact that I am here and appreciate me. Well, I that, mean, that's and, possible. And, 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 and again, I think the Cowboys want to sign them, but the longer this takes, does that make you wonder how much does Dak, who grew up as a Cowboy fan and always wanted to be the quarterback of the Cowboys, you know, it's like that old saying every time you see some dude that screws it up with, you know, a supermodel and you go, well, somebody's tired of her, right? I mean, is he, he grew up wanting to be a Cowboy, but is he tired of it? Uh, or would he rather be with a fan base going with comments that his brother makes? Uh, you know, that Tad Prescott on that, on that podcast, how he trolls fans. I wonder if Dak, uh, again, I do think the Cowboys want to sign him and have probably offered him a deal. But does Dak want to sign that contract? Well, that's a great question. But, but again, I right after the season, I'm sitting with Dak, and that's my priority. I'm in a dark room. We say, get room service. We're coming. We're not leaving this room until we get a deal a done. A dark room, huh? Room service? Room service, a dark room. Little champagne, Jerry Jones, whatever it takes. Well, yeah. whatever it takes. Right, I mean, well. you know, Dak, here's your opportunity. Well, I know hello. you've always wanted it. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> Look, you you get it done. The fact that they haven't gotten anything done makes what you just said make perfect sense. Maybe he's tired of it. Maybe they're tired of each other. Sometimes that happens, and players leave, and they thrive somewhere else in a different system, different circumstances. That may be exactly what's going on here. Dak is sick of the nonsense. Dak sees what what is not going on right now. Um, Would you want to play for this team next year as it sits right now? you got no left tackle. you got no center. you got nothing. Well, and if I'm Dak and Dak's agent, those two things you just said, uh, I need more of an injury guarantee here, boss, because you don't have anybody to protect me back Something, there. Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of how it feels. It is the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star live this Monday afternoon at a 90-proof bar and grill on Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. Come hang out with us. It is our golf tournament after party here on the Blitz. Now, being out at the golf tournament earlier today, a uh, couple of different people that uh, have Invisalign, like, dude, I've been doing it too. And, and, you know, how grateful they are that they've started the process. One guy's already done with it. And they were talking to me about Invisalign. And, and again, I started an Invisalign about six weeks ago with Dr. Smith over at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. If you've thought about it, you've been asked about it, you've considered it, 
it, get in and go see Dr. Smith over at Smile Structure Dentistry and Braces. Talk to him about Invisalign. It is pretty incredible. And one of the side benefits, I guess you can't make this claim, but I've probably lost a little more than 10 pounds since I've started this because I'm not snacking like I was because I, I've got the uh, trays in. So instead of taking about to eat, you, you know, you just don't and you lose weight. It's a side benefit. Can't guarantee your results with weight loss, but the straight teeth, you can notice a difference right away. I already have. Now, if it's been a while since you've just gone to the dentist, go see Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. General and family dental practice from cleaning and whitening to crowns, fillings, dental implants, wisdom teeth extraction. At Smile Structure, they can handle every aspect of your dentistry needs. They offer general anesthesia, sedation, and cosmetic dentistry. Of course, they do Invisalign. If your kiddos need braces, they can take care of that as well. Dr. Smith is fantastic. He's been my dentist for a number of years. Go see him and right now get a free exam and x-rays when you mention 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Medicaid and all PPO insurance is accepted, and they offer a dental savings plan if you don't have dental insurance. Smile Structure Dentistry embraces veteran-owned and operated, and they do offer discounts to uninsured veterans. Five San Antonio locations. Book that appointment now online. Smilestructure.com is the website. Smilestructure.com. You're locked on the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open with a true Vegas feel. The Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Rue Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! When something happens to your car, you might say, No! My car! But what you really need to say is something that can actually help. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And just like that, State Farm is there to help you file your claim right on the State Farm mobile app. So just remember, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera. Trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dnpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Jason Minnick's here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em, it is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single day night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use 
Mississippi. Must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. Hey, it's Rob Thompson, and this is 94.1, San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, the Spurs return to action tonight. They're going to take on the Phoenix Suns for the second straight time. Victor Wimbanyama not going to play tonight. He's nursing a sprained ankle. He has been ruled out. And the NFL owners have decided to unanimously ban the hip drop tackle, making it a 15-yard personal foul penalty. They'll also give the eye in the sky a little more power as the replay assistant can correct certain types of calls. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix. Live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill. Howdy. Highway 90. Howdy. Lucky Ranch Road. Our official golf tournament after party. And uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, golf is about done because people have uh, joined us here already at 90 Proof Bar and Grill from the golf tournament. Yeah, it's short drive from the Golf Club of Texas. Yeah, it just it's under 10 minutes to get over here, so it's not far at all. I knew that Flight by Yingling had uh, had arrived because uh, I heard some yelling and yeehaw and, and all kinds of stuff happening. Well, Rene Aguilar certainly knows how to make an entrance. He that does. Is sure. Yeah, he does. Well, sure that, does. And, you know, he, he, he brings beer and uh, inflatable things. <laughs> inflatable beer cans. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking we're really going to have a party. It's not that kind of a party. Okay, show. all right, all right. Although, isn't that the uh, inflatable that you wanted to take home? It is. I like that. It's a it's a flight by Yingling uh, beer can. It's it spins. It's lighted. Yeah, it spins and it's lighted up and it's. Uh, I don't know what you say. That it's about six foot, a little more than that, seven foot maybe. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's by Renee, who's you know he's probably a tall five, six, seven, give or take, All right? Um, so yeah, it, it's about six. It's a six foot beer can that spins, right? And, I and, and Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Nagel wants that in his backyard. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. it could be a Christmas ornament. Although your wife won't let you get inflatables like that. So I don't think she's going to allow a beer can at your house. I think that would be nice. And that's something you don't have to just put up at Christmas. You could do that year round. Well, I mean, I, I mean, you know, just say uh, open, <laughs> open for business. Yeah. Open for business. Uh, open for business. Open I, for business. Nobody else has one of those. Can, can you imagine your uh, your neighborhood? I mean, it'd be they'd all be jealous. Your neighborhood? Yeah. Your mailbox would be full of HOA letters. I'm sure I would. They would be. But it's it is pretty cool. I got to figure out a way to get that. I back. mean, I, I, although can your HOA complain if it's in your backyard? No. I mean, you probably couldn't put that in your front yard. Um. No. I, Probably not, but I, I. Although it probably wouldn't get stolen they, out of your front yard in your neighborhood, they can like the security people. HOAs can complain about everything. Well, that's right? true, and that's they true. do. So yeah, they can complain. I'm sure they would find a way. Well, it's it's too tall and it's over the fence and uh, it just doesn't your, match the rest of your your house. And we don't like the uh, uh, you know the extension cord is the wrong color. Exactly, and it goes across the driveway. Uh, so now, you, if it was got to get rid of it, damn it, lawyers. If it wasn't spinning, it would be fine. But the fact that it spins, nah, we 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 can't have that. You know, well, is it permanent? That would be the other question Jeez. from the HOA. Unbelievable. Since it's not permanent, you don't have to get HOA permission, do you? I, dude, I don't know. I don't even mess with those people. I just do it and try to ask for, for uh, forgiveness later. Mm -hmm. Let's do the headline blitz. <laughs> this is Jason and Joe's headline blitz. Two guys, two opinions, never enough time. Well, it's uh, been announced that Shohei Otani will speak today for the first time since all this scandal broke and you know the dodgers have gotten back to the united states and and at first it was announced he's going to have a a press conference 
And now it's been, well, he's not really a press conference. He's going to read a statement. So what I really want to know, does he read the statement or does his brand new interpreter read the statement? Well, his interpreter has to because, I mean, let's face it, Otani apparently doesn't speak any English. Well, what if he gives a statement and speaks perfectly good English or Uh, or good enough English? Well, then that's going to open up a whole (laughs) new can of worms because he can't use that. I was stupid and uh, I didn't know what I was doing defense. Yeah, I mean, well, I didn't know it was illegal because my interpreter told me, just send it here. This is what we have to do. And so many legal ramifications. Um, Questions. I was reading over the weekend. And the uh, questions that were brought up that from a legal banking system standpoint, I didn't think about. But uh, apparently, you know, questions like how did uh, Shohei's financial advisors not notice four and a half million being siphoned away from his bank accounts? Banks have very stringent verification and notification protocols for requested wire transfers. Apparently, there's a a currency transaction report, a CTR for any transaction over $10,000. CTR includes information about the sender, the recipient, and the nature of the transaction. Its purpose uh, of this requirement is to prevent money laundering and criminal activity. So, like, why weren't the banks questioning this? And if they did, because obviously wire transfer is that large, $500,000, a couple of them, go through all the time for people that have that kind of money. But you can't just say, hey, I'm just going to send, uh, you know, my friend Joe $500,000 without questions being asked because, well, a CTR. Well, it, it's, what it tells me is that Shohei knew all about this. He approved it. And it, it and it's, well, it, yeah, he knew all about it. He did. And I think the original story the translator told about that he needed help. He'd gotten into debt. Shohei's going to help him out. That makes perfect sense. Yes. And I think that's the story. Then they figured out, well, this could be some hot water. We'll change the deal. The interpreter takes a, the, you know, takes the fall for everything. There's no way that happens without Shohei's approval. So you know it. You know what happened that way. It had to. Have. Well, and and the other part of it too, the financial institution that fails to report a wire transfer over ten thousand dollars, they face significant penalties. Yep. Anywhere from twenty five to one hundred thousand dollars per violation, depending on the severity of the violation. So you got to imagine the banks have covered their ass on this. The question is, how is Shohei? The fact that when was that Wednesday, Thursday last week? When it, when this story broke, yeah, and he's going to make a statement today. You know, he could have at any point over the weekend. But this tells me eighty six different lawyers and crisis PR teams have looked at whatever statement is going to be. And yeah, we we can't keep hiding. We're going to call a press conference, although it's really not a press conference. He's going to read a statement. I mean, he might as well just take a selfie video and post it uh, on, on the internet. Why is he gathering the media to? give a prepared speech statement without taking any questions. Every media outlet in the California vicinity will be there for this. It will be packed. Uh, Not saying that's why he's doing it, but I think he he just, it looks better that way. Because it's going to be unedited. Well, because not, he's doing it live Shohei in front prob- of people? Shohei probably hasn't even seen the statement yet. Well, he better be rehearsing this well, thing. I'm he's just in saying. in a bathroom somewhere right now looking in the mirror practicing his speech. This has been written by lawyers and PR people. Yes. Pure and simple. That's how it's going to come across. And it's going to be interesting to see once this statement is released, um, does he throw his interpreter under the bus even further? Maybe, maybe Shohei surprises all of us and says, you know what? Actually... I knew all about it and didn't know this was an illegal thing. Didn't and, and use that and just, you know, take it and, and see what happens instead of because the cover up at this point in time is much worse than the crime. Well, and the, the changing of the story is why it became such a big story as quickly as it did. And does does Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, have the balls to suspend him uh, for any length? No. You know, and, and, <laughs> and, and if you're and if you're Shohei. Do you try to negotiate that? You know, it's like a uh, a college athletics program that self-reports where, you know what, we're we're going to ban ourselves from a ball game this year, hoping that the NCAA says, okay, well, that's good enough, and you've punished yourself. What if he offers up, you know what, I'm going to take 20 days off, um, 25 games, what, whatever the number uh-huh. is, yeah. because 
I, I have a hard time, even though I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe he did not know the rules. No, you don't. I, well, no, I, I honestly, I do. I mean, just be in fairness, the, you know, forget that he plays for the Dodgers and I hate the Dodgers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, being a foreign player trying to learn this language and play by these rules, I'm going to guess he doesn't know all the rules. I'm going to guess that a lot of Major League Baseball players don't know all the rules that are are, are, are enforceable. Uh, they might not all the know all the baseball rules. I mean, hell, we've learned that there are guys that play in the NFL that don't know the overtime rules. <laughs> so I, I, I can't understand, all right, if he didn't know the rules. Although gambling, those signs in the, uh, in the, in the uh, clubhouses – are they in all the different languages or just English, right? I mean, can you just accept ignorance, I did not know, as a viable excuse and let him off the hook? I, no, and you you can't because if you accept ignorance in his case, you got to accept ignorance in everybody's case. I didn't know. Yeah. 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 I, I, Sorry, what, boss. I didn't know. Wasn't me. Uh. I didn't do it. No, exactly. <laughs> and so they're going to have to if, – if they're going to – I hope Shohei Otani comes out today and his statement says, you know what? My interpreter was right the first time. I knew about it. I wanted to help him out. He was in debt, uh, paid the, uh, the the bookie off, and thought it was over, and didn't know it was an illegal gambling operation. Do that, and I promise you this thing's going to go away a lot faster than it will if you continue with this same bogus story that you're trying to feed everybody right now. You know, as you think about that statement, should be around 4.45 our time, and when it happens, uh, we'll give you – give you the statement because apparently no question and answer and you know it's interesting as we get ready for this year's draft there was a lot of talk about should caleb williams pull an eli and not go to the chicago bears uh, rg3 the most recent to really say dude he, you know look at how they treated justin fields is that really where you want to go well Deion sanders is preparing for the draft next year with shador sanders and travis hunter and Dion has already said there are some cities that just shouldn't even consider drafting those two Colorado Buffaloes. Top four. Ooh, that's pretty beautiful. Anywhere from one through four. One of them is going to be one. And the, the, the latter one would not go behind four. Now, all this is subjective because I know where I want, kind of want them to go. And let's not forget Shadow, okay? Mm -hmm. But I know where I want them to go. So there's certain cities that ain't. Ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be a, it's not a, I'm sorry, it's gonna be an Eli. Yo, so Dion said that Friday on the million dollars worth of game podcast with Brandon Champion. And you think about it, it happened in 83, it happened in 2004, 21 years apart. Now you're starting to get ready for the 2025 draft. Could it be another 21 years where players dictate where they get drafted? I think it's coming. Yes, I do. And I and, and Caleb Williams, I was surprised because I thought uh, for sure he would have rather gone to Washington. That's where he's from and in and, and that area, and, and he wants to do that. And I've even heard talk now that, uh, you know, why why wait? Washington may move up and, and just snag this guy and save him from the Chicago Bears as it is right now. Um, Caleb Williams comes out and says all the right things. I don't care where I go. I'm going to play for whomever drafts me and yada, yada, yada. But I think he would much rather go to Washington. But to answer your question, Jason, you're going to see this more and more often as players get more power and start to wield said power. Um, and then stuff like this is going to happen a lot. I think. It, it really is. And just for the record, it, he, you know, Dion did say he wants his players to go where the fit is right, which – you know, clearly, I imagine those teams want to make sure that player fits them. He mentions Atlanta not only for fit, but from a cultural perspective, but also San Francisco, Dallas, Washington, and Baltimore as acceptable destinations. <laughs> although, acceptable. Al although he has said that he doesn't want Shador to play in a cold weather city. Um, well, Baltimore is not exactly a warm weather city, and uh, um, you know, neither is Washington for for that matter. And by the way, you know, San Francisco, what's the old saying? One of the, the, the coldest winters I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. <laughs> I mean, it is cold in the Bay Area. It is cold in the Bay Area. I, I don't know what Dion's doing. You know, I really don't know. Just Dion knows better than that. Well, I, I mean, mean, he does. I mean, it's Come not lost on. on anybody. I don't think that uh, all those are places that Dion played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You know, there, there's that, too. 
Yeah, uh, that that's that's part of it. So it'll be as, as you get ready for this weekend, sixteen sweet sixteen games. For those of you that like to just wake up and find a reason to bitch, start times for these games has been that reason for for this weekend. The Thursday Friday games. Now I think it's perfect, but I'm selfish because we're going to be in Las Vegas, right? At Circa uh, Las Vegas yes. doing the show on a Thursday and Friday. We leave out there Wednesday night after after the Blitz. Well. I, I didn't really think much of it, except for I know we're not getting preempted at all because the games will start after six o'clock. Yes. So, you know, there won't be extra innings with pledge on those days, but, you know, the blitz in its entirety. Well, you know, that's seven, seven thirty Eastern for the first games. And yes. then the second games will start 30 minutes after the conclusion. And people are already complaining, especially on the East Coast, about those start times that are going to be, you know, nine thirty, ten o'clock for tip off. I, I look. I don't know why they're complaining. It's been this way forever, and people on the East Coast get screwed. They just, they just do. the The TV networks have to put games in prime time for the Central Time Zone. They they do it for the East, and then you know, the West Coast is going to start early as hell. But you got to think about the majority of the country, and I get where they're coming from. They're going to have to stay up late. But look, it's only one Thursday night. Right. I mean, if you have to go to work on Friday, then then what are you worried about? Well, I, I mean, what are you worried about? I, the complaining about the start times is a little bit over the top, I think. Well, it, it is, although it, they, they are starting them an hour later than they did last year. So and, and a, that hour makes a difference. Now, what I'm trying to figure out, knowing the TV business, you want those games where the majority of the people from a rating standpoint, East Coast, what are the ratings going to be like on the East Coast at the end of those games, unless they're just incredibly good games? You see what I mean? I just, you know, that's good for, I don't know, California. The people in Hawaii are probably loving these start times. But outside of that, it is. I mean, we're going to be in Vegas, so it I doesn't bother us at all. It, uh, it's prime time. Okay, it's prime time. I mean, when, when are you going to start them? Three o'clock in the afternoon yeah. when nobody can watch them? Yeah. I mean, it's that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's prime time television. My, you start it in prime time. It's, my, it's just that simple. My my uh, Our buddy Chip, I was going to say my buddy, but he's your buddy too. Oh, Chip Ingram just texted, nobody cares about start times when you're at a blackjack table. True. Exactly True. right. Yes. True. Especially at Circa Las uh -huh. Vegas because you'll be able to see all the games – and play blackjack yes. at the same time. I think you can see games from their sports book from anywhere in that hotel and, and good casino. It's it's incredible. Can't wait to get out there. Yeah. Thursday, Friday. Uh, definitely make sure you're tuned in. Please. Uh, this is the Living Vicariously Through People. I know some of you are going to be dealing with FOMO. Subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. I'm debating whether or not we should set up a camera that's just pointed at the pool or at the uh, wherever. We're. I don't know if we're going to be set up at the pool or in the, in, in the sports book. I think one day we're in one place, one day we're in another. I really have no idea. Um, I think uh, people that are watching on YouTube would prefer if we point the camera toward the pool. Well, if, I, 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 I'm just I'm spitballing. I, I, I will say that. Your good buddies, Joe and Jason, will make a judgment call on the scenery that's directly in front of the uh, camera <laughs> on whether we point that camera at the pool or not, if you know what I mean. Well, either way, the scenery is going to be a hell of a lot better looking than you and me. So I don't care what it is out there. Uh, I think most people would, would rather see that than uh, stare at you and me for four hours. <laughs> If there is a choice. You've seen our YouTube numbers. Apparently, people love staring well, at us. And then they put us on uh, big screen uh, television. Apparently so. And, and I, we, I mean, it, it, and we it, love them for yes. this. Yes. I'm just saying. What, what I'm saying, though, is there are a lot of people in Vegas that will wear things that they wouldn't wear anywhere near their hometown because right. what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And if we see something like that, I think we should respect their privacy. I don't um, think so. I don't uh, think we should. They're not respecting ours. Well, I mean, I mean it's mean, right there. You know, then it's going to be up to you to go get that waiver signed. Do you mind <laughs> if we broadcast? Uh, I'm kidding. Oh, we'll, my we'll, goodness. We'll, we'll it's going to be fun. Yes. Yeah. Spurs play tonight. Well, they, they played the other night, sort of. They had a game. I don't know how well they played. Yeah, they They'll win play. tonight. We'll maybe talk about it coming up here on the Blitz <laughs> on 94 1 at San Antonio Sports Star. First of all, I got a message for you that's going to change your dental game in about 60 seconds. Let me ask you a question. Are you fed up with the same old dental routine? You know what I'm talking about those endless trips to the dentist, dealing with missing teeth, temporary fixes that never seem to stick. 
Well, I've got the answer. It's Doctors Implants. Look at Doctors Implants. They're board certified oral and facial surgeons. Well, they're ready to transform your smile. You can say goodbye to the frustration of traditional dentistry and welcome a brighter future. Look, don't let old school dentistry hold you back any longer. Embrace your future with full mouth dental implants at Doctors Implants. You can check them out online at doctorsimplants.com, but here's the kicker. When you give them a call at 210-640-0000, tell them I sent you, Joe Reinagel from The Blitz, you're going to get a complimentary consultation and CT scan. Look, your journey to that perfect smile begins at Doctors Implants, so don't wait. Give them a call now. That phone number again, 210-640-0000. Zero zero. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life-changing. I mean, you could put that money towards that zero-turn lawnmower you've always wanted. And after using its edge-shaping technology to meticulously sculpt the face of the Mona Lisa into your grass, you'll become the undisputed king of Saturday morning lawn care, leaving your neighbor and sworn enemy Gary to question his place in the delicate neighborhood ecosystem. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, not available in all states. And now another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. Marcus, what happened? I was changing my oil and I spilled some on the floor. Oh, we use these $50 bills to wipe it up. Perfect. Got any more? Yeah, yeah, take a couple hundred. Stop. Instead of using money, use an old rag. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. At Target, count on our great deals just in time for Easter. Save $5 when you spend 30 on toys with Target Circle so you can fill their baskets with fun, like cuddly stuffed animals or 50-piece sidewalk chalk, all from only $5. Add an Easter chocolate phase at Bogle 50% off from Cadbury to Reese's mini eggs and more. And get great family pics with new Easter looks. It's easy with 20% off dresses, polos, and more. Hop in fast for our best Easter deals, only at Target. Restrictions apply. Flight by Yingling is the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling, available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. George Gets Justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George Gets Justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George Gets Justice. GetGeorge.com. This is Jim Rome. Join me weekdays at noon on my new home, 941 San Antonio Sports Star. 
It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jay Semenix. We are at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. It's our golf tournament after party. A lot of people are in here already, uh, and I'm guessing they, they didn't win any prizes because yeah, they're, they're, they're no... not sticking around for awards, so they know that they had a fun time on the course, but they sucked. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no trophies with any of these guys that have just walked in here. So, uh, and Renee was here so early, I think he quit. I'm not sure. Well, see, Renee, Renee's working, man. So <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. Are well, you kidding so, me? So here's the thing: if, if you come by here to 90 Proof, your chance to win. Now, this is very rare. Like it might get you like eight dollars on eBay, but this is something you want to keep forever. It, it is a slightly used Yingling Flight Kanga cooler, and those are great coolers. You just put your whole 12 pack in there and go. You don't need ice. They're great, man. It's like the greatest invention ever. These Kanga coolers. They're they're fantastic. Now, it's autographed. The first ever autograph. It's autographed. Yeah, it's the first ever <laughs> autograph from grumpy ass Greg Shelton. Yeah. Greg Shelton actually signed this cooler. I think he was trying to claim it by putting his name on it. But now we're giving it away and calling it autograph. And and Joe signed it, I signed it, and you know, it's slightly used, but I mean, it is literally the first ever autograph. From grumpy ass Greg Shelton. Uh, not only is that school, but this thing is already tournament experience. Yes. Well, see, that's it. I mean, I say slightly used. I mean, this one, is, uh, the test drive was phenomenal. Yes. Th- this is good. Now, here's the other thing is our friends from Flight by Yingling brought some uh, really nice golf umbrellas. Uh huh. If you're listening to me right now, turn the speakers off. If you can hear me right now and you can't inside the bar, if you walk in and see an umbrella and you actually open it up inside, you get to keep it. Wait a minute. Uh, Isn't that bad luck? Well, it is. But it, but but the, the good luck part is you get a free umbrella. And these are badass umbrellas. Okay. I would love to see Renee open that up just to see. But but I haven't seen it yet. You know, you can't. Uh, see, here's a guy that's willing to test his luck. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, how hard is it to open an umbrella? <laughs> and three, two. Oh, well, it was. Uh, you had to take the condom off first. <laughs> <laughs> now one of those umbrella it. condoms. Oh, this yeah. is great. Do yeah. a play by this, play this, 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 you know this, I mean? this really is. <laughs> this um, is yeah, we got to delay a game penalty. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, a bad execution yeah. penalty. <laughs> yeah. You know when they say, let's do it live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It looks like he's in a battle. That's a Royal Rumble going yeah, on here. Umbrella Renee, one, Renee Beer versus Man the Umbrella. Zero. All right. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that so is really cool. If you cool. come in and you can do that. Wow. Um, and, and you go through that kind of trouble, you better be able to keep the thing. Yes, it keeps the sun off of you. Um, keeps the rain off of you. I mean, Greg Shelton wishes he had had that at Dark 30 today when he was setting up for the morning cuddle. Yeah. No, that's a great golf umbrella. It really is, or, or whatever you want to use it for. But um, so, are we still off? Or are we? Are we not? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, All right so, it depends. I mean, we're making Greg work too much. Today. I know it. I know it. Turn so, that on. Turn again, that off. If you're driving over here to the 90 Proof Bar and Grill, and you walk in the front door and open the umbrella inside, uh, you get to keep it. That's all you have to do. That's all you, you have go. to do. All right. It, it is it is that simple. If you're already here at the 90 Proof Bar and Grill, you're ineligible. Yeah, but you get a beer. Because these guys were looking over here. Yeah, going, hey, yeah. wait a minute. What are they giving away? Well, they, what happened? You get our brisket nachos. <laughs> so you guys want some brisket nachos, <laughs> yes. man, go ahead. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the brisket's fantastic. It is. A- 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 absolutely. <laughs> uh, Spurs play tonight. Do they? Yeah, no Wemby. Uh-huh. Now, uh, he was pretty bad the other night. And, and I feel bad. Uh, sort of, but I'm glad that things worked out the way they did. I get a text late on Saturday afternoon from one James Pledger. He had scored tickets, great seats to the Spurs game. And and, and I, I appreciate it. He thought of me. Uh-huh. Like, hey, do you want to go to the game tonight? Okay. Now, generally speaking, I, I would have gone. Except for I had about an hour and a half or so to go on some ribs. So I, I couldn't leave. And I was like, man, I appreciate it, but I, 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 I can't go, man, but have fun. That's pretty awesome. Now, Pledge went, found somebody else to go. And I don't know, halftime, third quarter, Joanna looked at me, my wife, and was like, yeah, I'm so glad you didn't go. 
it would have broken Pledge's heart for you to leave this game because I just can't go and watch bad basketball. I, I, I just can't. That would have just – if I had been there spending that kind of money on beer and food to watch that in person – I would have been angry, uh, it, especially because, you know, I was already angry watching the Longhorns Tennessee game while enjoying some fantastic ribs. But that, that's the kind of game that and I'm not a leave early guy. I would have left early just angry watching that crap that the the Spurs are putting on display. And then uh, apparently a lot of Phoenix fans in town all chanting for Isaiah Thomas to get into the game. That is embarrassing that that happened in San Antonio. Well, it is embarrassing. What is Isaiah Thomas now? About 40? Uh, well, I don't think it's that guy. He's, I, I, I mean, he's on, a, he's on a 10 day. 35, right, he's right. The guy was a hell of a player. Well, yeah, but but the fact that there was enough Phoenix fans in the building that they were chanting for a, I don't want to say a scrub player because he's not, but for Phoenix, for, for a guy they just signed to a 10 day to get into the game on the road. Um, that, that, I, I mean, uh, that's embarrassing for the Spurs that they were so bad that Phoenix fans were that loud in the building that it sounded like a Phoenix home game. At least that's how it felt watching on television. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just said you couldn't watch bad basketball and you would have left early. So what do you? What the hell you think the rest of the Spurs fans did? They left early. Well, yeah. they left early, so yeah. there was nothing left but Phoenix fans a, a, there. A, again, embarrassing. All of, all of it was embarrassing. Well, so you would have been part of the embarrassment of walking out early. Yeah. You should support your team to the very end, no I, matter how bad they're getting their ass kicked. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I'm glad I opted not to go. Uh, I, I really wish I would have been, been fun to go to a game of pledge. Um, probably would have been more expensive than when I take my own kid. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it would have been. You know, uh, yeah, Why the hell you think he called you first? Well, exactly. I mean, you know, <laughs> I got the tickets. You got all the alcohol tonight, right, Dad? Uh, <laughs> let, let, let's go. No, I kid, but. Man, that game sucked. No, um, it, it Pledge said he left early. I'm assuming that's Pledge that on our YouTube channel that just yeah. chimed in, said he he left early. So well, how, how do you stick around for that? Well, I mean, honestly, it, it's just a complete behind the woodshed. I, I, I just I, – and I don't blame him for leaving early, although with free tickets – I, I guess that probably if he had paid for those tickets, especially the choice seats. Now, he, I think those tickets had club access, so maybe I wouldn't have left early. I would have just ended up in, in one of those fancy clubs where all the empty seats go uh, when you're when you're watching. But, uh, you know, we were talking to uh, Bo LaHue, who's the GM over at Golf Club at Texas, and he's always a leave early guy. He's got a mark in the fourth quarter where he says, all right, we're going to beat the traffic. Why go if you're going to do that? Now, especially if it's a good game. He says he leaves every game early. Yeah. Like, well, do, do you leave a movie early, too? Well, the traffic's not bad. He just, you know, and I'm, I, I don't understand people that leave early, although in this case, I would have been a leave early guy, and that's okay. I don't understand people that leave a good game early. All the effort and the expense of going, and you leave early. Now, see, I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't do that. But this game, I'm glad I didn't pay money. And I feel, yeah, I really seriously feel bad for Spurs fans this year. And I talked to a guy out on the golf course today. He goes, yeah, man, I've been to about seven or eight games. And he said, it's just, it's hard to go right now. It's hard to go sit in that arena and watch this team. Now, he said he was at the Dallas game, which which was a good game and I, I guess entertaining. He said that wasn't too bad. But he said, for the most part, it's very difficult to do exactly what you just said, go through all the trouble to get there, uh, fight the traffic, get in and, and sit and do all that stuff and then watch bad basketball uh, that your home team is providing. And, and so that's the, that's the sad part about it. And, and tonight, my goodness, with no Wimby, although uh, Wimby, Wimby was more of a detriment on uh, Saturday night than he was a, a help. Yeah. And, and this guy, he looks tired. He really looks tired right now. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star Live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, uh, our golf tournament after party. If you're leaving the Golf Club of Texas, literally eight minutes on the, the way over here, according to my GPS. I found it. Ryan Eagle found it. Uh, Grumpy-ass Greg Shelton found it. Uh, you can find your way over here as well. If you didn't play in our golf tournament, no worries. Just come hang out with us and have a beer and uh, some good food here at, at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and uh, Lucky Ranch Road. The NCAA tournament, we're off to the Sweet 16. Your brackets are ugly, so we're going to make our second chance brackets ah. coming up here on the Blitz. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. 
It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Tuesday on the Morning Huddle. The golf course is done. We have cleaned up and packed up. Let's talk about what we did on what was a fantastic day. How did the Spurs do in their second game against the Suns? We'll react. Plus, have the Dallas Cowboys done anything? You know the answer. The morning huddle starts at 6. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Here's something you won't hear from any other jeweler. Right now, when you buy a diamond at Diamonds Direct, we'll give you a free gold setting for it. Yes, a 14-karat classic solitaire setting in white gold or yellow gold at no charge with any natural diamond purchase. So all your money can go toward a bigger diamond while you still get the classic look she wants in that engagement ring. Another example of Diamonds Direct's extraordinary value. Or if you want to take it up to the next level, Diamonds Direct also has a fantastic selection of Halo, Pave, Vintage, Three Stone, and other popular mountings. Or maybe she wants a designer ring, like the one she's seen on social media. Well, Diamonds Direct has those too. In fact, we are an authorized retailer for all the top designers from New York and California. Whichever setting you choose, you'll also be able to choose your finance plan. Diamonds Direct now has a wide range of finance options with attractive rates and terms up to 60 months so you can get the ideal setting to fit your style with the ideal payment to fit your budget. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Store hours, directions and more at DiamondsDirect.com Dave Ramsey here for my friends over at Connecticut in San Antonio. Trust me, Connecticut water systems are the best of the best. I personally have one in my home. All those other water softener systems out there are junk in comparison. Kinetico uses less water and runs on Kinetic Energy. So there's no computer to break, fewer moving parts, and it works only when you need it. It was even voted most efficient water softener in the world by the Water Quality Association. The team at Kinetico San Antonio can test your water, install a system, and provide treatment all without stepping a foot inside your home. I'm Chris Canippa of Kinetico in San Antonio in the Hill Country. I'll let you try a Kinetic quality water softener for 90 days absolutely free. Call us at 65 65- Six pure that's six five six seven eight seven three or visit us on kineticosa.com and tell them Dave Ramsey sent you call six five six pure Connecticut. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father in law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-2706. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. 
there is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-2706. That's 800-575-2706. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey, that's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Listen to 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star on your Amazon or Google smart speaker and just say, Alexa, play 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. It's our official golf tournament after party location, about eight minutes from the Golf Club of Texas, where we had a great tournament. Now we're here. A lot of people are uh, enjoying, um, well, a lot, lot more cold beverages. Uh, cold beverages, uh, most of which being provided by Flight by Yingling, by the way. Renee's over there handing everybody a cold beer when they walk in. Uh, it looks very delicious. And Did- we have a couple, uh, couple and a half hours or so. and Yeah. Before we can have... We've One got, of those delicious flight by Yingling. We, we've got water. If you're watching on YouTube, you see our, our nice 94.1 labeled uh, bottles of water yes. from Artesia Springs Water. Big hit at the golf tournament. Big. <laughs> the guy from Artesia yeah. texts me, how'd the water go over? Yeah, it was, it was big quite, hit. Yeah, big yeah. hit. Big yeah. hit. Big uh-huh. hit. Big. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, huge. Big. Uh-huh. Massive. How many guys did you see there? today wearing white belts uh, i thought the movement is really starting to happen well it was a movement i i would say four now there were more than that I, I Jason. Think, uh, there was four no i think there were uh maybe 40 40 my ass no i'm telling Don't you lie to the people i'm telling oh, you're you telling like, me like, I, 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 like, I, like all four people like like you guys could have taken a group shot no you know, one selfie no, no 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 there were there were several out there well, and by I, several i mean four no, there were more than four. Four. Now, don't don't tell fibs. I, I, I'm, I'm don't lie. lie to the people. I, I mean, I think four might be a lie. No, I no think, was no, it two? No. I, every, I just about every tea box we went on, there was at least one dude not with a every, white belt. Not every tea box. Just every dude. tea box. Oh, no, I, I look. I, I, look, there's one, there's right, one there. right there. We, we saw him. There was that other guy that had uh, uh, the khakis on. And I think I, I honestly, I think maybe four. No, there were more I, than four. There were two dudes wearing cowboy boots out there, yeah, which no, I've that, never seen that before. Yeah, that, that was Dude, weird. literally wearing cowboy boots. I was going to say, did you get off work and come over here? But they got dressed, going to work, and went, oh, crap, I got to go play golf today. Yeah. Right? Or get to go play golf. That was golf. the weirdest thing I've, I've, I've seen. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, they're just regular old cowboy, cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Yes. And the guy hit the ball with the one dude, hit it. Decent, I guess. Uh, you called that decent? Well, I mean, he's not finding for- that ball. It went forward. I it, saw it, a it, bunch it, of shots it, today that went sideways. Well, uh, yeah, I, mean, I mean, that, well, I mean, you know, his his uh, went went right into the trees. They, well, if you're wearing boots, man, you can come over here in these woods and, and look for him, man, because you're not worried about snakes. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, that, that dude did not hit it well. Well, I, I we may have to take a poll <laughs> um, in in here at ninety proof bar and grill today just to see. Because th- there's more than four people, I would predict, in this room right now that have white belts on. It, it almost sounds like a beer bet. Oh, you're going, yeah. you're uh-huh. going more than four. Uh, we know of one, so that hedges. So you got to find four and a half dudes. Uh, I mean, are, are we gonna, we're going to set the Vegas line. What do you mean right four and a half on? dudes? Well, so I, mean, I just need three more. You need, I mean, because you don't count, right? No, I don't count. You, you I, don't I'll count. take myself out. So, so essentially, we need five people that have on white belts. One. Yeah. We, 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 not, we've, not, we've got one. None of the rest of this table has a white belt on. No, no. So we're looking. The hell's the matter more, with y'all? Right uh, now, I don't know if Grumpy asked Greg Shelton will appreciate this, but this does fall under, and we're making it up as we go. Other duties as assigned. Greg, will you go check everybody's belt and see? <laughs> Who else is wearing a so white belt? Lift up everybody's yes. shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does not count, sir. Uh, um, yeah, you've, you've got to go find. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What are we doing? Uh, Anybody in here wearing a white belt? No. Nobody's nope. paying attention to us. Well, that's, See, they're, they're that's enjoying, not a, that's they're not enjoying unusual. F- flight by you. Well, there's other there. distractions as well. Well, that's uh, uh, okay. Greg, get yeah. off your ass and go check for a white belt. <laughs> so, we'll figure it out, and I'll go look at it during, at the next break. All right, so we've got to have five total people, and we know of one. We know of one, so I need And yours four doesn't more. count. Okay, mine doesn't uh, well, count. Just, that's fine. Just, just check it. All right. Just checking. See, the, the problem is the go. guys come in here, and they're they just the shirts go untucked. Oh, that's the problem? Well, it is the problem. So you can't just look around the room and see all the that is, shiny white belts rolling around. That is why we asked Greg Shelton to go check everybody's belt. Well, now, Shelton doesn't like white belts. So, I mean, he's the first. He's the original guy that tried to give me stuff about that. I mean, there there are some ladies over there. We can enlist them to see if they would like to take on the challenge. I'm of, sure I'm sure these fellows would appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, Greg, will you go ask uh, one of the uh, – Nat over there or somebody if uh, they will check for white belts? We, we've got to come up with five total white belts. We know of one. See, now Greg will get up to go talk to the ladies. Well, of course not, he yeah, will. Which uh, I'm, I'm just impressed that he got up. To, uh, well, to be, to I, I think he was, uh, he was looking for any excuse to get up. But Greg? he's going over there. Look at him. I'll tell you what, you know – Shelton has worked hard today. He, he really has. He really has. He, and the he, fact that he's walking that far. Uh, again. That's hilarious. There's a magnet over there, if you understand. Well, I get what, that. that I you know, there, there's a reason he is walking over there. Uh-huh. Is, but I said, is you know, Vanessa over there? Yeah, uh, go talk to him. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. For uh, Vanessa like, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right. So, yeah. uh. Everybody's brackets, uh, well, I, I would say busted. But, again, if you've got 75% of your Final Four still in play, you're in pretty good shape, unless, of course, your national champion is out. So if, you, if your champion is out, you're well, you're screwed at this point. If your championship game, and that's where I'm at. I've got, I had Houston against Baylor. Damn. Uh, but so many other people had Baylor. That and that almost you know like if you would have had you know kind of a flyer team getting in there in, into the championship you're screwed. But a lot of people either had Baylor in the final four in the championship game. I was looking at one of the pools I'm in like seven people had Baylor winning the whole thing. So really, yeah, they're they're completely eliminated. My wife had BYU of all people. <laughs> uh, uh, don't ask me why. You know what? I appreciate her picking a, a team that. You know, I mean, you, you stick your neck out on the line. Well, you know, I mean, the, any any bozo is oh, UConn. Yes, let's go. Well, the, the part I don't like about it is my wife joined the bracket, and then you know, it was like, hey, uh, can you? Uh, it was with our friend Emily Straub. Can you send Emily the money? Yeah. After she had lost, I'm like, yeah, yeah. This is, <laughs> felt like that, that just was dirty. Uh, you go from there. All right. So when you rebracket, and 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 I do like that. ESPN does offer a a uh, whatever they call it the second chance bracket. When you look at it now, how much of your final four changes? Or or if you if you were to rebracket with everything that you've seen, you know, are you feeling more confident that UConn can cut down the nets? Is Houston still a team you think can win a championship, especially the way they struggled with uh, Texas A and M? You know, are you still high on Marquette? Uh, what about Purdue? What about Creighton? Your 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 Creighton Blue Jay pick, uh, they they almost bit the dust. Um, Arizona looked really good. Um, you know, could Alabama go win a national title? No. You know, as you look at now for your second chance bracket, how much of your Final Four changes? Well, I, I, obviously Baylor would have to be out of there. Oh. So. Uh, as I'm looking at this right now, North Carolina looks good. So I think they'll take care of Alabama this week. Uh, Arizona, Clemson. Clemson, look, Baylor should have won that game. They, they played horrible basketball the entire time. Couldn't hit a free throw to save their life. So I'm not sure Clemson is for real. I think Arizona takes care of them. All right. So you've uh, got, so you got North safe. Carolina, Arizona playing uh, in the Elite Eight. Yep. All right. Uh, Purdue looked pretty good, but how do you count out Gonzaga? I mean, my gosh. I, I just think Purdue looked that good that I, I, I'm taking Purdue in my second chance bracket. Uh, and same thing with Creighton over Tennessee. Um, You're they, taking Creighton. That's, I, I, I'm I, glad I, you're I, finally I, coming I, around. I'm, I'm taking Creighton. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
you know, you, you look over in the south bracket, Houston and Duke should be a good game, but should be. I, I'm staying with Houston and Marquette over NC State. Yeah, NC State has been riding a – you talk about a Cinderella story. Yeah. I mean, they won five straight games in their uh, conference tournament, and then uh, now, and now they've been on a roll. But, I, yeah, I think that comes to an end with Marquette. Uh, uh, you, UCon- you still like Houston, you said? I, I still like all right, Houston. All right. uh, you, in, in the East, UConn, um, they'll destroy San Diego State. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, destroy? They, they will destroy – San Diego State. How do you figure they're going to destroy San Diego State? Uh, hey, did you watch them both play this week? I, I, yeah, I, sure. Uh, San Diego U- State looked pretty good. U- UConn, head and shoulders above. Uh, Illinois, Iowa State could be a good game. I think will be a good game. I like Illinois, though, of course. To, to, to win that game. So I like how I'm, I'm convincing you with some of these teams. Well, I'm going with all that I had in my original bracket, minus the games that I've lost. Uh, I, I do have UConn going to the Final Four where they will play Arizona and beat Arizona and get into the championship game and then lose to Houston in the championship game. I'm still staying with the Houston Cougars and winning it all. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to go with uh, with now. Really, the only thing that changes for me is uh, I have to have Baylor out. I've got North Carolina in. So I'll pick uh, Illinois and Creighton to play for the championship, and 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 the Blue Jays take care of uh, the Fighting Illini. So I, I've got Arizona over North Carolina. You're going with the one seed because you have no stones apparently, and taking North Carolina. Yeah, but I have them get. I have two th- number three seeds playing in the championship, which is what I had before, by the way, yeah. with Baylor and yeah. Creighton. Yeah, all right. I, I got two one seeds in the championship game. Well, because you have no stones. And a one seed is going to win. I'm still taking Houston. No back to back. You have no stone for UConn. None. None, apparently. None. None, apparently. <laughs> none. 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 Come see us here at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. A couple things we've got going on here at 90 Proof. If you walk in, you see a big Yingling flight uh, umbrella. Open the umbrella up inside and you get to keep it. We also have a slightly used Kanga cooler Yeah, that's been autographed by one Joe Reinagle, by me, Jason Lennox, but more importantly, grumpy-ass Greg Shelton signed it, Grumpy Greg. Grumpy Greg. Yeah. That's exactly now, how he signed uh, it. It, it, it. For the record, that is the first autograph he has ever signed, you know, outside of a speeding ticket, but something that's going to be given away. Now, I don't know that he knew it was autographing something that was giving away. I think he was just trying to put his name on it to claim yeah, it. That we him. are giving it away. So now it's an autograph slightly used. Uh, well-tested Kanga Cooler. Absolutely. It looks great. And it has tournament experience already. So it's it's broken in, ready to go. And The uh, stories that Kanga Cooler could woo, tell. No telling Man. already, right? It's been so, in the hands of one Greg Shelton. <laughs> Yeah, not many people have had that experience, have they? <laughs> no, they haven't. No, they haven't. Come see us here on this Monday afternoon. We're calling it a Monday fun day, I think. That's, that uh, sounds good. Yeah. Fun day Monday. I don't know. Better than another F word to go with Monday, <laughs> which is what Greg has been using all day. But th- today, I mean, he's having fun now. Look, he even smiled. He's punch drunk at this point. Absolutely. It is the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. You know, a lot of people commenting on my shirt out at the uh, uh, golf tournament today there at the Golf Club of Texas. A new uh, nice Nike black polo that I had made over at Sammy's Embroidery with the 94-1 uh, logo on it. Because when you need your logo on any kind of shirt, any kind of gear, Sammy will get you taken care of. Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. When you need your logo on a golf shirt, a fishing shirt, a nice dress shirt, Sam will get you taken care of. If you need T-shirts screen printed, go see Sam. If you need uniforms, Sam has over 700 uniform lines to choose from, all kinds of industries. If you need caps done, Sam has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. Nobody has better prices. Sam has all the big name brands, and he's the only company in Texas that offers one day turnaround. No order too small, certainly no order too big. You can be like me, get one item done. One shirt, picked it up there off the rack in, in the showroom, put the logo on it, good to go. Maybe you need two dozen, maybe you need 25,000 items. Whatever that number is, call Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. 210-824-3900, 824-3900. Or go by that massive showroom on San Pedro 
one mile inside Loop 410, next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, for Sammy's Embroidery Club. Riding 1604 with the Blitz. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. When it's time for the March Mania Brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Bonus offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man steps under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... <laughs> To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Join today, BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Cowboys play here. 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, the NFL owners have done it. They've decided to unanimously ban the hip drop tackle, making it a 15-yard personal foul penalty. They've done it. Uh, Spurs return to action tonight as they take on the Phoenix Suns for the second straight time. No Wimby. Victor Wimbanyama not going to play tonight. He is nursing a sprained ankle. And the Blitz is live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill. 
Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. Byersbarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to biggest Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minutes. <laughs> Live at out at 90 proof bar and grill highway 90 and lucky ranch road our official golf tournament after party then what are the chances some dude over there now renee with uh, flight by yingling he's giving away stuff based on when people were born right was he checking ids yeah he's checking uh, ids well of course he is so he's the guy, beer man this guy over here i said my birthday month is november now this guy says his is too and he said it's the fourth I said, hey, dude, that's mine. But you realize multiple people are born on every day. I'm just saying. Like, that's you don't gotta, get that, it exclusively that's, like the that's, only guy that could be born on the 4th of November. I'm guessing, though. That's got to be a hell of a special dude over there. Uh, I mean, well, well, did you compare years? Because I'm thinking there might be a decade or two between you. There might be, but that's okay. You know, I kind of blazed that, the path for that guy. That's nineteen eighty something, and you're nineteen sixty something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's two decades there. That's all right. That, that, hey, that's fine. I, I look now, better than that guy. Are you well, kidding me? I mean, you know, actually, that's true. It uh, is true. But yes. uh, you know, it, it happens. But you know, he's is he wearing a white belt? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, but it, look, got him a golf towel. He got a he got a golf towel. Dude, those are swanky golf towels. Oh, that might be the best golf towel I've ever seen. Uh, it's it's incredible. It's a flight by Yingling towel, but it's got this rough stuff on the back where you can actually scrub your clubs. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a multi purpose towel. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's not just your normal. Yeah, golf run towel. of the mill golf but, uh, towel. I don't want to say this too loudly. It's far better than the golf towel we put in our in our goodie bags today. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just a regular golf towel. I didn't see the the. I didn't. I didn't get a goodie bag. How do I ram uh, uh, rectify that? Well, uh, you go back to the golf course and find it where you left it, and and hope that nobody picked it up. Well, we've got some uh, salespeople running around here. Maybe somebody can hook me up with a golf bag. I, I doubt it. No, I doubt it. Well, you never know. I'm going to ask. I mean. The salespeople, you got to find Nick in promotions to see if he oh. has an extra one. Where the hell is Nick? Well, he's probably taking a nap. He's had a long day today. Oh. I, I mean, <laughs> I said guy. that just for the look on grumpy-ass Greg Shelton's face, and it did not disappoint. Greg and Nick have been up the longest all day today. Now, it, it, it's funny, and I wish the guy was standing right here telling me during the commercial break, he's already bitching about the golf tournament. Man, we were 15 under and came in eighth place. How does that happen? <laughs> well, I mean. Have you played in charity golf tournaments yeah, before? Exactly. There was no cheating at all in our golf tournament. Of course tournament. not. I mean, it's the honor system <laughs> with nothing but quality. <laughs> I can't say it. Um uh, honest people uh, that, yes. that would never pencil with a scorecard. Well, you know, that's the thing is that uh, there were brand new pencils on the carts with the brand new erasers. Uh, and it was fantastic. So, I, you know, I don't know. Par was your partner today. You couldn't make anything over par. Um, so that had to help a lot of people. Well, and, and, and certainly mulligans were in play. And so if the team had enough mulligans, although quite honestly, we saw some really good golf today. We but did? We, Where? We, 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 we saw some really bad golf today as well. Dude, I saw more balls going sideways today than I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 was, uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I, I think everybody got a lot of I think a lot, Everybody had a lot of fun, which is all that, that matters. And, and this place is packed, so everybody's uh, – but it continue well, that fun. And yeah, yeah, a absolutely. I was going to say we learned all kinds of stuff today, Pledge. If you want to go with the uh, phrasing, yeah. Uh, at, at at one of the uh, holes, they were giving away golf tees. Yes. And the young lady there was explaining what a golf tee does. Yes. Yes. You put balls on it. Yes. 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 Uh huh. It will Crazy hold them up. Ball. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> with that, and there were some other. Uh, Cute phrases out there. There were lots of them. Yeah, today there so. were there were there were lots of them. So yeah, good time had by all. Rob no Thompson doubt. makes oh, an no. appearance here. Wow. Yo, know, I got I got to say, you know, I've known Rob Thompson for a long time, 
And and I don't see him on a regular basis in person because, you know, a lot of times by the time you and I get to work, he's already gone home for the day. Sure. Um, when Rob, one, Rob A has lost a lot of weight, but two, he is a, 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 a damn near growing a mullet. No, he not damn near. It is a mullet. Well, and, he, and he's and he's wearing a hat and he's signing the Kanga cooler that we're giving away. <laughs> so now it is signed by grumpy ass Greg Shelton, Rob Thompson. I hope he spelled his name right. Um, you and me. Uh, and, and 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 so yeah, that the value of that cooler just changed. Yeah, I don't know well, if that's well, up or down, but well, it, but it just changed. But watching well, from Rob a nickel walk to ten in, cents. Rob walks in. He's got his Aggie hat on. And it's regular ball cap, but the way his hair is flowing, he's got a very Joe Dirt look about him yeah, all does. of a sudden. Yeah, that that's a full, full blown mullet. There's no doubt about it. I, does Rob know that he's growing a mullet? Uh, sure, he does. He probably thinks it's cute. Well, more importantly, does Kelly, his wife? <laughs> that's I mean, have she, has she seen him lately? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he he's he can almost put that in a ponytail. Now, well, he can. He could even probably go man bun with that thing. Uh, let's not get carried away. I'm just saying. Let, let's not get carried away. See Rob Thompson with a man bun. I <laughs> no. I I, 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 I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't think anybody needs to see. It's not quite man bun level yet. I he think get, it is. He can get away with a ponytail, but. I don't think that he's close enough for, for man bun, although not far off. Give it time. I just never realized uh, that, that that Rob was growing out a mullet. I, and, and I know Rob well enough. This isn't on purpose. The, somehow he's going to look in the mirror and go, what the hell is going on back there? You know, like, like, I know Rob well enough. He'll see a photo and go, when did this happen? Really? I you mean, know, the guy looks in the mirror every day. Does, does he, he not? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I, I'm just astonished uh, and stunned that Rob Thompson is growing a mullet. Uh, it and is. I don't, a, I don't a, know that Rob is aware that he has grown a full blown mullet. He's looking for food. Well, he can have this right here. Yeah, this there's, is delicious. there's brisket yeah. nachos. There's crispy dogs. There's some uh, jalapeno poppers, brisket jalapeno poppers. So, Rob, I don't want to give you a microphone, but I do have a question for you. When did you start growing the mullet? Did you know you had a mullet going on? <laughs> did you know you were growing a mullet? I, I, I mean, I saw you there. When the hell did Rob grow a mullet? Like, did you, this start last week? I don't know. It didn't feel Does your wife know that you have a mullet going on? March the 25th. Yeah. Yeah. The mullet became aware. Yeah. 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 Uh, Joe thinks you need to just put that up in a man bun. That's That's his goal. That's his goal. That's That's his goal. goal. Man, see if he can go man butt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like a professional radio guy talking without a microphone. I know. It's okay though. That's all right. Hey, Rob deserves to have uh, had a good time out at the uh... Rob Rob Thompson. Uh Oh, this is this is dangerous. This This is this this probably should not happen. I mean, look, he can barely (laughs) unwind a wire. All right. Maybe. All right. Uh, all right, Pledge, be uh, ready. No, there's no need. Uh, no, there's no need. <laughs> I, like I just MC the awards. Uh, uh, I'd like to announce the winners came in at 53 under. At 53 under. All honorable men, I'm sure. 53, oh, 53 under. We had, actually, we had two teams tie at 53 under. At 53 under. At 53 under. So we we made them describe their best golf shot. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, the guy that made the best description of the worst golf shot won. And the, we gave that award. All right. So the winners came in at 53. Because there was a guy here bitching that they were 15 under and came in eighth place. Yes, well, so, uh, well, so those, that and, was the truth. And truly. I'm sure they were completely hey, honest I, in getting to 15 under. Yeah, I'm not here to impugn or question any man's character, especially when you're standing out on a golf course. So, yeah. you know what? I don't know what happened out there. But we had I had no idea the quality of golf that listen yeah, to the I mean, they're, 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 I had no idea I, I mean, the number of tour worthy guys I, yes. that live in San Antonio. Oh, 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 God, I've known you a long time, man. I'm having a hard time just looking at you here with this mullet going on. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, this is out of nowhere. It is. It, it did suddenly appear. I, mean, I, it, I didn't realize it was so uh, lustrous mullety. and long. I, I mean, but it, it's, it's very it, mullety. Uh, good Lord, dude. Joe Dirt. It is. What it's the hell Joe are you Dirt-esque. doing? It's all I can do to keep a hat on right now. Um. 
because I'm pretty proud of what's going on. The party in back is well better than the uh, business in front. <laughs> well, so, you know, some of us can do that, and then others that, that, that are no, stunned over here can't. A grown-ass man should not have this haircut. I, I'll be the first one to admit. Well, this, no, is, no, this is going to be rectified soon. I had no idea it had gotten to this extent. Well, I hadn't worn a baseball cap in so long. All I think right, that's well, what... Because the reality, I used to have long hair, and I wish I could get my long hair back. <laughs> I mean, I have but, no idea. I, but it can't be... Uh, 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 this. Yeah, no, it can't I, be this. I know, no I one, know. no one needs this. You, no, I, I would I like to do that. Up on me. Well, 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 I, I mean, Melissa, you and I are good friends. We can talk about no, all kinds of stuff. And I know how you feel about mullets. <laughs> and I can't yeah. believe you're wearing one. I, I, I was I, putting I, I, on my cap this morning as I was walking out the door, and then I thought, and I turned my head. I said, "Oh my God, that is a full on." It is. World so class the fact that you're even aware Billy. of it oh, surprises I, I know, me. So then I took the hat off, and you'll notice this morning on the show, I didn't have a hat on. Well, I didn't notice. Well, I didn't. But I know. And then I started heading out and i thought well i'm just gonna put the cat off and cap on and i realized after i put it on and w- looked at the mirror that yeah this is you there's go, a lot going on back yeah, there you can go yeah. ponytail and everything what's the uh, john rom uh, almost rom-esque no not, not rom quite. it's yeah, a, not, a, like tommy not fleetwood not well, fleetwood's got the hair yeah right. tommy fleetwood. fleetwood's so got i'm working one. toward the fleetwood that's well, what we'll call it uh, well, right. so i mean keep it keep it flowing no, until no. we're out at the valero texas open in a couple uh, of weeks one of the great sponsors out at the uh the, the course today scissors and scotch they it, the, the, i think she was willing to donate her time <laughs> <laughs> so she saw your hair and said son you we need were, help we were sitting and giving away stuff she goes well you look like you need a haircut <laughs> So the good folks over at Scissors and Scotch, I think, are going to take care of the problem uh, that I didn't really realize I had. My wife, I don't understand why she hadn't said anything. I don't think my wife's taking a good look at me in probably, <laughs> probably four probably or five a months. Good idea, so, right? <laughs> I don't think she's really taking a look at what's going on over here, both good and bad. So uh, uh, I got a shock for her later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been singing achy, breaky heart. Uh, absolutely. See how that works out. Uh, <laughs> it was a good time today. Yeah. A great time yeah, today. It was, was, it? It was a great time today. Well, I made my appearance, and it's time for the Irish goodbye. Yeah. Uh, right. You guys yeah. have a, a fantastic yeah. no, Although, evening. by definition, this isn't an Irish I goodbye. I know. I announced it, so I'm going to move around. But it is time for a nap. Step into the darkness. Uh, those brisket nachos are incredible. The crispy dog is that fantastic. Looks, if I had any appetite at all, that crispy dog would be delicious. It was delicious. They, it they, looks uh, pretty yeah. ridiculous. They smoke their hot dogs on the pit. You, you could. It's. It's um yeah that's a hell of it's a, a big dog. wiener yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah. that's the kind of yeah. meat that you want to put in your mouth I'll put the, I'll tell you yeah, that exactly. right now y'all have a good night yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Mr Mullet Rob Thompson I don't want to just give three seconds for tomorrow man. morning <laughs> <laughs> holy cow wow we got to regroup after that yeah we we do kind of have to we regroup, we, we need we? to regroup let's All talk right. tournament when we come back and we're waiting for Shohei Otani scheduled to make a public statement at in the next 30 minutes or I have so. a request. A request? Instead of tournament coming up, I want to complain about what the NFL owners did today. Can we do that? Well, literally, that was our is 430 that in the segment. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's I the, can like, wait till 430. Like, okay. I mean, we can do it. I guess I could read the rundown, I, but I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, you, you, you could look at the rundown. Uh, let's see Lord here. knows I know you can read the rundown. Well, it, it, you, you, can, you can even okay. read it in the dark here. Yeah, I can. Uh, after going over to Parker's, you can do all kinds of things. Now, but we can adjust on the fly if you need to. No, 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 no. That's fine. There'll be more time for me to complain. There we go. So that's awesome. That That's fantastic. That's you're why right. I left it there. I tell you what, uh, you're right. It, and it's kind of dark in here right it really is but i can see this particular script perfectly uh without glasses without readers without anything just my eyes because i had lens replacement surgery at parkhurst new vision it's been about a year now and it's it's amazing how fast time goes but it's also amazing how much i don't miss dragging around readers and doing all of that kind of stuff it's it, it's it's freedom like you wouldn't believe in fact my results were so good my wife maggie decided to have her eyes done and she is loving the way that parker's treated her as well and the way that she can see without glasses look they can do the exact same thing for you all you have to do is take that first step that's call parker's new vision the phone number is 210 210- 585-2020. Again, 210-585-2020. You can also check them out online at San Antonio LASIK.com. Look, let Parkhurst New Vision do for you what they've done for my family. It is an incredible freedom like you wouldn't believe. Again, that phone number is 210-585-2020. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. 
and the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Dave Ramsey here for my friends over at Connecticut in San Antonio. Trust me, Connecticut water systems are the best of the best. I personally have one in my home. All those other water softener systems out there are junk in comparison. Connecticut uses less water and runs on Kinetic energy. So there's no computer to break, fewer moving parts, and it works only when you need it. It was even voted most efficient water softener in the world by the Water Quality Association. The team at Connecticut San Antonio can test your water, install a system, and provide treatment all without stepping a foot inside your home. I'm Chris Canippa of Connecticut and San Antonio in the Hill Country. I'll let you try a Connecticut quality water softener for 90 days absolutely free. Call us at 65 65- Six pure that's six five six seven eight seven three or visit us on connecticotsa.com and tell them dave ramsey sent you call six five six pure connecticut Jason Minix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. Hey, this is Rob Thompson for Tri-County Meat Market, your locally owned full-service meat market. Tri-County has two great locations, Hebner Road and Ralph Fair, stocked full of everything you need to up your grilling game. If you're looking for the perfect cut of beef, they've got it, and they don't have it, they'll cut it for you. Roast chicken, prepare foods, they've got it. The 5 for 25 is always in play. If you're a first responder, 10% off the best meat you're going to find. Tri-County Meat Market, head over to either location, put some good meat on the grill, and thank me later. Former pro football offensive tackle Mitch Schwartz knows for a guy, buying jewelry is a daunting task at most stores, but not if you go to Diamonds Direct. It's very simple and very easy process for a guy to go in there and not be overwhelmed. Mitch found Diamonds Direct and has been back many times buying jewelry for his wife, Brooke, and he's never felt any pressure. They're going to educate you about what you're looking for, what the diamonds are, how the process works. At Diamonds Direct, we respect both you and your budget. I think everyone's kind of searching for value you don't want to be taken advantage of, and Diamonds Direct is leading in that regard. You're going to feel really comfortable there. You're going to have a good time. You're going to find something that looks amazing and that you're going to get the best value for it. So if you're worried about getting sweaty palms when you walk into a jewelry store, relax. Take Mitch's advice and enjoy the experience at Diamonds Direct. We have definitely recommended Diamonds Direct to friends, other teammates, everyone else who has been through there has had as awesome an experience as we have. Diamonds Direct, your love, our passion. Get directions, showroom hours, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. The Jim Room Show, weekdays at noon. I love San Antonio, man. I love it. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Menix at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. Uh, our, our station account just posted a photo when Rob was on. Yeah. And you can really see that mullet. When did Rob really start growing this mullet? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm going to repost it on my socials or go to the SA Sports Star Uh Instagram, and you can see it in, in, in the story there. But, Rob, really, that mullet thing is uh, uh, alarming. Uh, it's it's long in the back. It is definitely party in the back for sure. Uh, but I'm glad he realized it. And, uh, you know, you, sometimes you have to have somebody you don't know tell you, dude, your hair looks terrible. 
you need a haircut. Well, I mean, terrible. I, I, I don't think it looks terrible. I kind of no, like mullets, but actually. I, but, but, I, but I know, I, I know Rob is um, not a mullet-friendly guy. <laughs> so to see him with a mullet yeah. was alarming. You know, it'd be like, dude, your zipper's open. But you realize that, you got a mullet in the back now. It, Rob pretty much, I mean, from the time Longer-ish hair. Longer-ish hair, yes. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. His no. hair. But, uh, but, but that was full-on mullet. It had gone from long hair to mullet. Right. I got you. Right? All right. Uh, yeah. And there, there is a difference. Hey, if you can pull it off, though, I, you know, it's cool. Sometimes you got to just try it. Well, it, you know, the problem, and maybe he was just getting into the tournament. Because, you know, you see a lot of these college boys, uh, you know, and, and, you know, I think about, like, when I'd go – on campus and i look at all these dudes and you know they're trying to wear mullets and they're wearing their jean shorts and i, I don't know i mean i, I just look at some of these Dude, what campus kids. are you right, on right <laughs> uh, well i mean you know you go to college station and you know what i mean it's wow. like like uh yeah it's just like like you're even watching the tournament games uh-huh. you can see some of these kids in in the stands and you know they're all frat boys and they they've got various mullets going maybe he was just getting into the tournament it's the college season he wanted to feel that way to a degree i i I don't know but i i do know what a great weekend of college basketball yes brackets be damned because everybody's bracket at this point has taken some serious damage They, they, they all have some some bullet holes some ships have completely sank others are tanked on water if you're if your final four is intact you're fine if you got 75% of your final four, uh, you're, you're fine. I do. Uh, if if you're at 50% of your final four, uh, you're probably not going to win money in whatever group that you're in. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've got three of my final four teams still intact. So, I mean, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. I've survived the first and second round. Uh, three, though all three of those teams can survive this weekend. Well, obviously they'll be in the final four, but especially Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Boy, that's a revelation, isn't Brilliant, it? Brilliant! Oh my gosh! I mean, I just uh, these thoughts wow. just come to me. They really do. It's like wow. Here we go, Captain Obvious. S- sometimes I you surprise know. myself. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's amazing. Wow, it's a backwards mullet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 seriously, I mean, you know, well, everybody's bracket's ugly. And, and and unless, like I said, like I lost Baylor, well, so did the majority of the people that are probably in your bracket pool. They I lost, lost Baylor. Baylor. Yeah. Now, if you had Baylor winning the whole thing, you're, you're really screwed. screwed. Yeah. If you had Baylor getting to the championship game, you probably have taken on some pretty serious engine failure. Uh-huh. But depending on how things play out, you still might get a safe landing if your champion is – uh, still in play and ends up winning the whole thing because it, it depends on how many other brackets final fours are going to be like yours in whatever pool that you're in. I just say that's what I, for me that's what I have to do because nobody else picked Creighton to win the whole thing. I did, and so if, if Creighton somehow miraculously wins this thing, oh. um, then I'm in I'm in great shape. Now the problem comes in with. All the sheep that out there picked UConn the to sheep. win the thing. Yes, yes. yes the uh, all, sheep. all of you sheep that picked UConn to win this and thing. And again, sheep meaning you looked at it, you said, yeah, they're a one seed. Yeah, they're defending champions. They're still the best team out there, so I'm going to pick them. No, you just that follow makes, the crowd. That, that makes that's you a I sheep. Mean. That, well, that's what uh, sure. I mean. You follow the crowd. Okay, sheep. Everybody well, else is picking UConn. Yeah. So I'll pick UConn, too. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, come on. Yeah. Have uh, some uh, stones. Uh, uh, well, again. I picked Houston. Well, you're just as much a sheep as anybody else. Oh, because Although you picked... not quite as many. Well, and, and because again. Most, uh, most everybody picked UConn. Uh, well, and again, and you went with Creighton, and you know, you were sweating it out on uh, Saturday well, night. Sure. Uh, anybody, you had to be sweating it out last well, night. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, big time. I mean, and that, that's the beauty of it. But also, depending on your group, like on the uh, morning huddle ESPN page, I'm in 10th place. Really? In the Blitz one. I'm uh, in 23rd. I didn't get in the morning huddle. It, it's the well, that's your fault, sir. Wow. I, I mean, you could have. Was like, I? I didn't get an have. invite. Yeah, you, you don't need an invite. They literally said it on the air to join their group. 
they appreciate you listening. Well, they must have said following I, directions. They, I, they must have done that when I wasn't listening. Yeah, well, it's it's possible, but I mean, wow. we, we also talked about it on the Blitz. But we did? you know, I I I I, I digress. Okay, uh, we, yeah. we all we all do. But it, it's well, you could probably still get in there. I mean, you're probably feeling pretty good about it, so you could jump in there. You think so? I mean, why not? I'm not doing well in in our. Our group, uh, yeah, the one that we're in with, uh, yeah, uh, I'm with like twenty seventh place, a local television. Oh, in our, yeah, that, the Blitz no, or the one, uh, the Blitz. Well, yeah, I'm in twenty third, but Are again, you? you know, a couple of losses here and there, and you're going to be fine. That's why, yeah, you know, it's too early to crumple up your paper bracket and throw it away if you want to be dramatic. But at this point, you're still in play. You got three of your final four teams in play. You're good to go. Now, fortunately for me, my national champion is still alive because Texas A&M can't make a damn free throw. And I'm I'm okay with that, although I got to admit, I was rooting hard for the Aggies last night because of how well they were playing except for at the free throw line. That was a hell of a basketball game. No way A&M should have lost that game. They couldn't make free throws. And uh, some of the late game decisions by Buzz Williams, I'll, I'll question. But at, at, at the same time, Make your damn free throws, and you get one of the biggest upsets in the tournament. Dude, I'm I'm sitting there watching Baylor and Clemson, and Baylor's behind the whole day. And, I mean, just looking terrible. Clemson played well. I'll give them credit. But Baylor rallies late, has an opportunity to tie this game up. Free throw line, 80% shooter, clanks two in a row. Clanks them two in a row. And that was about, I don't know, the 20th miss for the Baylor Bears at the free throw line. And you talk about, dude, make a free throw. Are you kidding me? It's it's called free. It's yeah. free points. Yeah. Free. Here, here we go. Jeez. You're going to rant about free throws? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I should have all four of my teams in there. And I blame that dude that missed those two free throws. That guy all by himself. That guy all by himself. His fault. Yes. His fault. He's going to have to live with that the rest of his life. He will. Yeah. And some old man on the radio complaining that it cost him a a tournament win. It did. On paper. It did. Think about how do you think he feels facing his teammates. <laughs> do you think I care? <laughs> so it's about me. Do you want a you want a thank you card? Do you want a sympathy <laughs> yeah. card from him? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Mister Ryan Engel. I want. Yes, I have been at the gym. I will practice free throws forever. Uh, he should. And if I'm if he, this kid's going to the draft, and I'm looking, if I'm a GM, I'm thinking, hey, this is a hack a shack all over again with this dude. Big pressure moment. Kids not ready. Exactly. What it boils down to. Damn it. The NFL has added some new rules. They've made it even harder for defensive players to do their job. The Tony Pollard rule, as we're going to call it, got passed. We'll talk about it next here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, let me tell you about uh, doctor's implants. Would you? I, I will. I will. Because, you know, life. Sometimes can throw you some unexpected curveballs, kind of like yeah. right now. Yes. Yeah. Timing is everything. It is. <laughs> Have you ever been hit with those challenges that leave your smile in the dust? Well, I've got something uplifting for you from Doctors Implants. Life can throw some serious hurdles our way. And at Doctors Implants, well, they meet patients every day facing the fallout of medical conditions, causing their teeth to go south. But here's the scoop. At Doctors Implants, they're on a mission to bring back your smile no matter what life's thrown your way. So if Health-related dental problems have been holding you back. Don't lose hope. Doctors Implants is your ticket to a fresh start. You can check them out for yourself at doctorsimplants.com. But when you call them at 210-640-0000, mention that I sent you Joe Reinagle from the Blitz. Well, that's your key to a complimentary consultation and a CT scan. Don't let life's challenges steal your smile. Call Doctors Implants today. That phone number again, 210-640-0000. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Tuesday on the Morning Huddle. The golf course is done. We have cleaned up and packed up. Let's talk about what we did on what was a fantastic day. How did the Spurs do in their second game against the Suns? We'll react. Plus, have the Dallas Cowboys done anything? You know the answer. The morning huddle starts at 6.
Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dmpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos, Brahmas! At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at L.L. Floyd, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. L.L. Flooring, Every step covered. She posted about us just now. Celebrities can't get enough of Biana's bespoke skincare line. She has 147 million followers. How do we monetize? She needs a social media associate to help her with the hype. We should repost this. Do we need a hashtag? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Nothing slows my little girl down, except a stuffy nose. Mommy. That's why I use Sinex Children's Saline from Vicks. Sinex instantly clears mucus in everyday stuffy little noses with a gentle, ultra-fine mist designed for kids. Just Sinex? Breathe. <sighs> Her stuffy nose is gone for now. And so is she. Sinex Children's Saline. Sinex? Breathe. <sighs> Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com. Slash print for details. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors, it helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson Hue, yeah. People are saying Jackson Hue, yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh, yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. This is Tony Pollard, and you're listening to The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. <laughs> yeah, Tony Pollard. Tony. You get a rule named after you. Okay, we just all have to make sure that when we refer to the hip drop tackle thing, that we refer to it as the Tony Pollard rule. It is The Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jay Semenix. Live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road, our official golf tournament after party. We are here until 6 o'clock tonight. If you didn't play in the golf tournament but you just want a cold beer, a nice ice-cold flight by Yingling, come on by. 
uh, you didn't have to play in the golf tournament to come by here and enjoy a cold beverage, some of their great food, and maybe even win some of the great prizes that we have from Flight by Yangling. Now, we're waiting for Shohei Otani yep. to make his statement. And when he does, we will bring that to you as quickly as possible. But on a news front that I think a lot of people are going to end up talking about quite a bit on whatever program that you watch. As we speak right now, this got tweeted out of Los Angeles about 10 minutes ago. Federal authorities raid Sean Diddy Combs properties in Los Angeles and Miami. Wow. Now, some of the photos that are on Twitter, I mean, one, pretty badass house, of course. But, I mean, these guys... They're all in tactical gear, like they're expecting some sort of gunfire as they approach the house. They now, got a tank out yeah, there. Well, it, it again, looks like a tank. I, I, I look at at. I, I mean, all right, it's it, it's Diddy, right? I I don't know what that. So you go, what are they? What are they doing? Federal investigators and the Department of Homeland Security executed simultaneous search warrants at the L.A. mansion as well as a Miami property belonging to Combs. The raid may be linked wow. to a possible sex traffic investigation. A source familiar with the matter said three Jane Doe's and one John Doe have been interviewed by the Southern District of New York in relation to sex trafficking, sexual assault, solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms related to Diddy, Sean Combs. Wow, so this is incredible. And I mean, it's it looks like a... I mean, it's it's a full-on raid, it, it looks like. Oh, like it, something out of a movie. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Not to mention the fact that his house is incredibly big. Yes. I mean, it's... it's As un- you would anticipate. Well, I guess so. But, but, I mean, and the whole neighborhood is just mansions everywhere. Yeah, that that's a high-tax neighborhood. Yeah, no doubt about Although it. Although, when you look at, the, uh, I mean, those properties and everything from the helicopters that are flying over, and, and again, I mean, you never know what somebody's into, but... Is this for show because they know the news is going to be there or concern? I mean, clearly you got to to go through that house. You're going to have to have a whole lot of people. But when I see like the armored vehicle showing up and the tactical gear as they're going in, you know, it's almost like, hey, man, this uh, uh, this this is the property of the leader of the cartel. And you might you might we're talking about Sean Combs. Are they going to open fire when the cops are coming in? Yeah, but the uh, the uh, t- three Jane Does and the the John yeah. Doe may have said, "Look, there are a lot of weapons in this house," and that's a possibility. Sure, and, and so they don't know what they're getting into, and they'd rather be safe than sorry. If he's into uh, illicit drugs, sex trafficking, I could see where the the house is probably full of uh, all kinds of different weapons. Well, now I'm speculating. I haven't seen that. I am speculating, yeah. but that kind of explains why they're approaching it the way they're approaching it. And, 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 I, and I will also say, I, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, I know a lot of law enforcement types listen to this program. You never know what you're walking into. Right, exactly. So you always have to be prepared. Yeah. But this seems like a pretty big show, knowing that there's TV cameras there, knowing that, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Do you always call the news chopper when, uh, hey, we're about to execute a search warrant? No. But, hey, we're going to Sean Combs' house. Uh, get the choppers up. Here's the address. Well, they're pulling out. Uh, they're showing video now from the chopper above. Uh, pulling, uh, looks like computers, boxfuls of stuff out of uh, out of his home right now and taking it away. So it uh, could be that... Um, Sean Diddy Combs is in big time trouble. Well, I mean, and, and again, uh, today's not a good day. It's a bad Monday for him. It is. It's been a fun day Monday for us here at the Blitz and San Antonio Sports Star with our big golf tournament. Um, NFL news continues to roll on. We'll hear from Mike McCarthy coming up uh, in, in a few minutes. He did a sit down uh, with Adam Schefter interesting things to say, but some of the NFL news that did come out of the owners meetings today they did vote on a couple of rule changes one of them is the hip drop which is going to be a 15 yard penalty so get ready for a lot of those 15 yard penalties because i don't know how else a defensive player is going to tackle a guy i mean i really don't now i've already seen now look some some guys have come out for this some have not jj watt was one that said 
When are we going to have the flags? When when does that start? Yeah. And and it's it's true. The players union came out against banning this last week. They didn't want this to happen. Look, this I don't know what a defensive player. The rules are already stacked against the defense as we as we sit here today. And now you throw this into the mix. Um, I, I really don't know how you're supposed to tackle somebody. I I, I look at this and and the numbers according to the league study. 230 examples in the 2023 season. So basically one per game. Those numbers up 60% from 2022. 15, one five, 15 players suffered time loss injuries from it. Basically one a week, you know, 17 games yeah, scheduled, yeah. 15 guys got hurt where they missed time. That doesn't necessarily mean they, you know, now Houston Texans head coach, D'Amico Ryan's, uh, he's like, well, we don't coach to tackle that way. So how do we coach not to tackle that way? The biggest thing with the hip drop tackle you see is just the significant injury that it that it causes. So you want to get the injuries out of the game. Uh, the biggest thing for me is just coaching defense and being a, being a defensive player is I don't coach the hip drop tackle. I've never seen it coached. So I don't think people are coaching that to happen. I think it's just a – unintended consequence of guys keeping their head out of the game, right? They're trying to not put their hat right on the ball, trying to keep their head out of the game, but you end up with your weight and your body. You end up arm tapping on a guy where you still have to put body on body, get in front of guys and make sure you're putting your shoulder through guys where the hip drop comes in where guys are truly, they have their whole body behind the ball carrier. So defenders, we have to do a better job of positioning ourselves to get more surface contact. On I look. I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to do. Honestly, I don't. And I, look, I don't want people to get hurt or have serious injuries. And I know what happened to to Pollard, and it's happened to a lot of guys. And and I get that. And I watched the video that the NFL showed the owners. Uh, when they were trying to do this, there was a whole presentation on this thing, and yes, it looks bad. Not, but again, if you're chasing somebody from behind and you grab them from behind, you're trying to get them on the ground, and the best way to do that is to put your weight on the ground. And it just happens to, I, I just don't, I don't well, understand what a defensive player is supposed to do I, at this I, point. It, in time. It's another challenge for defensive players. I, and again, I look at this and I, I'm with you. You know, it is so difficult now for a defensive player. And typically you're from behind. So, you know, they've gotten rid of the horse collar tackle, which I think kind of developed into the this, right? Because I can't grab you up on the shoulders. I can't grab inside and pull you down. But I can jump on you and kind of put my weight down. And, yeah, your legs are going to buckle. I, I, you know, but it, it, again, your job is to tackle that guy. You've got to get him to the ground. Now, one of the rules guys with the league said it will be enforced kind of like helmet to helmet, right? And because it's such, to a degree, a judgment call. There are some where it is very obvious and some where it is not. Yeah. So is that one that we're going to see a lot of early? Or is it, if you're if you're a defensive coach, if you're a defensive player, do you think that is something that you're going to easily be able to take that out of your bag of tools to get somebody to the ground? I, I, I'm not really sure because it doesn't. It wasn't a major problem, I don't think, or don't recall it being a major problem until the horse collar went away, and then you found you know helmet to helmet has gone away. So you know sometimes it's easier to let a guy get by you just a little bit, and then you grab him from behind because if I blow you up, if we're if we're both about to collide, you put your head down, I put my head down. As the defender, I'm going to get the 15-yard penalty. Rarely did you see, say, helmet-to-helmet contact called on, say, a running back. I, I remember one time it was called on Zeke. Outside of that, you know, I, I don't know what you do if you're a, defense, uh, a defender. I don't know what you do either, and it's going to be interesting to see in training camps now how they try and unteach this, but I, I, I'm not sure that it's something that guys were taught I just think it's an instinct that you're, you're trying to get the guy to the ground any way that you can do that. And that's what the hip drop uh, t- tackle has, has been. And it's just, uh, uh, man, I tell you what, it's, 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 
I feel bad for defensive guys. And maybe that's what the NFL wants. Do you want, I don't know, 40 to 39 scores? Do you want 50 to 45? Is that what we're looking for in the NFL, where there is no defense anymore? Uh, it, it just, it, it, to me, it's just another challenge. And when big stars, now, 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 granted, there have been some big stars come out and say they're all for it. But there have been some other big stars saying this is ridiculous. And, uh, and in fact, one player that I saw, and I can't recall his name now, he said they've just banned tackling in the NFL. Uh, I mean, a little over dramatic. Well, but it, but it, I, I, the it, point is legit. I, I mean, go back to what you just heard from D'Amico. They don't coach tackling like that. Nowhere in there would you call that form tackling. But you do have to get a guy to the ground any means necessary. I do think a lot of defensive backs probably went more to the hip drop method of tackling because it avoids major contact on their part. You know, it, it's a little bit easier, a little bit friendlier fire on your own body. And again, when you talk about player safety for the defender, probably safer for the defender to tackle like that. Although for the offensive guy, you're going to snap your leg or you potentially could snap your leg, your ankle, uh, blow out a knee. So from a player safety standpoint, I, I do think there, I, I mean, maybe the defender has found that to be an easier way to get a guy to the ground for them. But I do think this is going to be known as the Tony Pollard rule. Well, whatever rule it's known as, I just think they're well, making it. Roy I, Williams from the Cowboys had the horse collar rule, so I, just I think, think we yeah. just keep it in the family and give Tony Pollard the uh, the hip drop swivel move. I know they're trying to minimize injuries in the NFL. This is the game of football, okay? There has always, since the beginning of time, been injuries in the game of football. You're not going to rule that out ever. It's going to happen. It's a rough game. And you start putting in these things, and, and I, I agree with J.J. Watt. I mean, honestly, at some point in time, you're going to legislate contact out of the game. You are, and and I, I just don't know what you do, and you're going to have to start playing flag football. And i tell you what, the NFL is going to shoot – itself in the foot with some of this stuff well i i mean again i think you know we talk about player safety and i think they player safety to me is just bs uh when when the league talks about it i know there is concern there but like the kickoff rule didn't change no right uh or the and the the onside kick rule going to the fourth and 20 proposal that didn't, didn't happen now the kickoff still could change they didn't vote today maybe they vote tomorrow i i think that when it's to their advantage to go player safety they like to play that card but there's enough other instances where well we can't do that and and so it makes you wonder now the other thing that did happen the other proposals that were approved teams will receive a third challenge after one successful challenge, previously teams had to be successful on two challenges to receive a third. That proposal submitted by Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions. <laughs> that, that one passed. And if there is a double foul during a fourth down, during a down in which there is a change or changes of possession, including if one of the fouls is a post-possession foul by a team during a scrimmage kick, the team at last gaining possession will keep the ball after enforcement for its foul, provided it did not foul before last gaining possession. Uh, look, some of the rules, and I know they're going to, they're almost uh, to the sky judge thing that you're always calling for. Uh, they're going to give them a little more uh, freedom and a little more, um, you know, ways to change calls if that's necessary. I just, I, I look, I just don't like when the players' union itself comes out against this. Uh, that that to me is just. I mean, are the is the NFL are the owners not listening to the players in this situation? I mean, obviously they're not because it was emphatic. They came out and said we're not in favor of a ban of the hip drop tackle, and so obviously the owners didn't care um, and passed this thing anyway. Now, Wade Phillips, the head coach of the San Antonio Brahmas, who this week starting Wednesday will make regular weekly appearances on the Blitz. Every Wednesday at 435, we're going to call it Wednesdays with Wade. Wade Phillips just tweeted, hip drop tackle, 
You can't make a tackle that the defender doesn't end up with his hips and body on the ground unless you knock them to the ground standing up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, we got to write this one down and remember to ask him, Wade Phillips, about this. And how do you coach up people? Uh, as a legendary defensive coordinator, if you're, if you're Wade, and I'm curious, now that it's been adopted by the NFL, does the UFL – come in and say, well, you know what? Uh, they're doing it there. We're trying to get you there, so you better learn how to do it. I, I wonder if the UFL, probably not this season, but next year adopts that. Because I know with these spring leagues, the NFL does look at differences sure. and explores whether they need to be adopted at the NFL level. But I do find that very interesting from uh, San Antonio Brahma's head coach, Wade Phillips. And again, uh, Wade Phillips, starting this Wednesday, will be on with us every Wednesday at 435. And I can't wait to talk to him about it. I mean, we, that's a conversation we're going to have with him. I know, obviously, the Brahma's uh, season kicks off this weekend. Very excited about that. Everybody's going to be talking about it. But uh, it be it's timely to have Wade on uh, when this thing passes to get his thoughts and to, and to find out what he's going to do about it. I just have a... I just have a bad feeling that you're going to just at some point you're going to go too far. The players will get used to this and they'll figure yep. it out. I mean, they do with every other rule that's come down the pike and we think it's going to be uh, devastating. And it turns out it's not necessarily that way. But I mean, at some point in time, you're going to go too far. And that's what worries me. And um, with the NFL being so high right now and, and king of all sports and it's not even close. Um, you know, when is that time we have a self-inflicted wound that you can't recover from? It's um, going to be, uh, I, like I said, it's a rule change I expected until the NFLPA came out yep. so strongly against it that I thought, all right, they're going to listen to the players on this. And that didn't happen. The kickoff rules, some other things uh, in play there at the NFL owners meetings that we'll get into uh, Plus, Mike McCarthy does a uh, interview with Adam Schefter. What did the Cowboys head coach have to say as the Cowboys still, I, I mean, they've had one guy. I mean, you saw the deal. The, the numbers have been reported for the Hankins deal. I mean, clearly they didn't want Jonathan Hankins. Apparently not. I, I mean, basically, for what it cost me to order uh, crispy dogs for lunch here today, at the 90 proof bar and grill, the Cowboys could have kept him. Clearly, they didn't want him. He wasn't as good as the crispy dogs here at 90 proof, or he'd still be a Cowboy. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's really it's it's odd what the Cowboys are doing and who they're letting go. By the way, um, Shohei Otani has spoken. Okay, it happened. What he said. All right, the Athletic is reporting this. It was just a. a he says, uh, "I'm very saddened and shocked that someone I trusted has done this." He goes on to say, I've never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. I have never went through a bookmaker to bet on sports. Now, that's the only two quotes that they have. If that's all there was, it's all there was. But uh, obviously, he's, he's just doubling down on, on, you know, he can't believe that his interpreter did that. And, uh, you know, here we are. I've never bet on sports. So, Well, and, and again, never bet on baseball or any other sport, never asked anyone to do it on my behalf. Those are very strong statements that I would imagine these federal uh, prosecutors, because of everything that's electronic these days, like those wire transfers, that's a, it's a pretty bold statement to say I've never bet on sports. But it fits the narrative of the first interview of the translator saying the Shohei was paying off his gambling debts, not his own. So I'm, I'm really surprised in the fact. Now, look, OK, he can say all of that. I've never been on baseball or any other sports or never asked anyone to do it. But the interpreter in the original interview said he was helping me get out of debt. And again, then you can go back to the four and a half million dollars that I can't really believe that uh, this interpreter who was making 300 grand a year is uh, is being given a four million dollar credit line with uh, a bookie. Again, going through more of this statement, he says, in conclusion, his name is Epi. 
has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. Last week in Korea, media reached out inquiring about my potential involvement in sports betting. He never revealed to me that there was this media inquiry. The first time I knew about this gambling, uh, his gambling, was after the first game when we had the team meeting. During that meeting, obviously, he was speaking in English. I didn't have a translator by my side. Even with that, I kind of knew what was going on. I started to feel something amiss. Prior to the meeting, I was told by Epi's, let's talk one-on-one -on -one in the hotel after the meeting. So I waited up until the team meeting. I didn't know he had a gambling addiction and was in debt. Obviously, I did not, never agreed to pay, agreed to make payments to the bookmaker. Wow. Okay. When we went back to the hotel and talked one-on-one, -on -one, that's when I found out he had a massive debt. It was revealed to me during that meeting that he admitted he was sending money using my account to the bookmaker. At that moment, it was an absurd thing that was happening, and I contacted my representatives. Well, there you go. So that uh, that will get the ball rolling. We'll see what happens from there. But uh, he is doubling down on he didn't do anything at all. So um, maybe he didn't. We'll see, though. A again, it's a statement now. You have contradicting stories, and you got to go back to the the bookmaker, seemingly aware that this guy worked for Shohei, and he claimed that Shohei was one of his clients to uh, other other people. Now he could just be saying that, could be, but with everything being an electronic, for Shohei's part to make a statement like that, especially because the other guy had never bet on baseball, soccer, and other sports, sure. Uh, and again, he's legally allowed to bet on other sports. Yes. Just not baseball or by baseball rules, legally uh, allowed to. And we're not allowed to make bets with an illegal bookmaker. Well, there's that. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll keep following this. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Plus, Mike McCarthy talking to Shefty today. What do you have to say? We'll dive into that coming up here on the Blitz live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. You know, nobody ever plans on getting arrested, but it does happen to a lot of people every day for all kinds of reasons. If you get arrested, you want to get out of jail fast. Best way to do that is to call my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text bail to 474747, or you can start the bonding process online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you really understand what all those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, have a free shuttle service, and they're open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas, services nationwide. So if you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, anywhere in between, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online at mybestbailbonds.com. Riding home with a blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Okay, I know I can't be alone on this. Is anyone else behind on their Easter prep? Because it snuck up on me. Good thing I went to Kohl's. I found Sephora Beauty Finds for under 25 bucks. That'll be perfect for my girls' baskets. And I saved 40% on cute dresses for them, too. Then I got myself a stylish dress for 20% off, plus an extra 15% off. Oh, and I earned Kohl's cash. Kohl's saves the day again. Select styles. Some exclusions apply. Sephora and Kids Easter looks. Coupons do not apply. 15% offer ends March 30th. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Hi, this is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. If you're a dad who is facing divorce, there are extra layers of stress that may include stereotypes and assumptions. No two situations are the same. Our legal experience and dedication prepare us for whatever legal challenges we face together. You need a partner you can count on. 
For more than 30 years, Cordell & Cordell has represented men in divorce. Offices in San Antonio, Austin, and St. Louis. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's attorneys online at CordellCordell.com. Over the past decade, the Roop Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roop Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. I'm Rob Thompson here to tell you about BetUS.com. One sportsbook and casino, and that's been BetUS.com for years. They've been driving to the basket for 30 years, and I've been a part of it. And this year, BetUS has got an epic three-pointer going for you. 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambling insurance. It's epic! Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS. BetUS, it's where the game begins. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Mueller, the Chief Oral Surgeon at Doctors Implants. I would say if you have... I think if you have major issues with four or more teeth and a major issue, like a root canal is a major issue. A crown is a major issue. If you have that going on with four or more teeth, or maybe you have periodontal disease or something else like that, this is something you should, you should come talk to us about. It's something you should know more about. Teeth were cracking. Teeth were popping out. It hurt my personality because I love to smile. Literally, if you're sitting on the fence, call. Call now. Don't wait. The difference is amazing. It's changed my life and it will change yours too. Now servicing San Antonio and Central Texas. Receive a complimentary doctor's consultation and CT scan when you call 210-640-0000. Again, that's 210-640-0000. Mother sits sour smile. You're listening to 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Sports Center. Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani issued a statement today saying he's never bet on baseball or any other sport and that he can't believe his interpreter and friend would do something like that. More on Shohei coming up in a little bit. Spurs return to action tonight as they take on the Suns for the second straight time. No Victor Wimbanyama not going to play tonight. He's nursing a sprained ankle and he has already been ruled out. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. Byersbarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 as San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle on Jason Minix. Live on this Monday, Monday at a 90 proof bar and grill, Highway 90, Lucky Ranch Road. Out here for another hour. Come hang out with us. Have some drinks, some flight by Yingling, giving away some cool prizes. Somebody won the autographed Greg, uh, grumpy ass Greg Shelton cooler. Wow. That poor lady. Boy, I tell you what, that's uh, that's valuable. You know, it, it, it the scratch on that cooler looks a little like the doodling that Jerry Jones was doing on that notepad <laughs> yesterday down at the uh, owners meetings in uh, Florida. And, you know, Jerry said a whole lot of nothing, trying to just reiterate that they've got a plan. Well, <laughs> well, well, and again, what what I find interesting, though, is. <sighs> Is Mike McCarthy the voice of reason? And, and I say that because, you know, we've heard Jerry and we heard Stephen. We didn't hear from Mike McCarthy at the Combine in Indianapolis. And, and so I'm curious, and you guys can tweet at Joe Reinagle 210, at Jay Semenix. Dial up 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. And if you're watching on YouTube, comment there. Because, you know, Mike McCarthy did a uh, sit-down interview with Adam Schefter on NFL Live on ESPN. And his response, I, 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 I'm not, you know, it just feels so different, yet it says the same thing as I've heard from Jerry and Stephen about, 
you know, your team's not doing anything, and everybody else in the division seems to have gotten better. Well, I have a lot of experience in not being active in veteran free agency, so I, I guess uh, it doesn't, doesn't bother me as much. But, no, I, I think it's like anything, and it, it really is. I mean, you're working on your roster 365 days a year, and, and that's always been the reality. And I think as a coach, I've really always focused on the guys I know are going to be there uh, in, in the offseason program because, you know, you really do have a chance to, to improve as a football team. You know, I'm a big believer in the second and third year jump. You know, we have some young players. We got some guys coming back off of IR that were young players that we're excited about. So we are definitely improving. You know, we're just we're just not part of the uh, free agent market right now. You know, uh, I, does McCarthy? I mean, I, I give him a lot of credit. He is a company guy. <laughs> he is going to tow the. You listen to that statement, and it's just like. He doesn't. He doesn't believe a word he's saying. Well, I, I mean, I, I, again, though, I mean, all right, you, you, you know, the ice cream's been on the counter for a while. At some point, it's going to start to melt, right? And, and, and I look at and I, all right, it, is he a voice of reason? Because it sounds so different. You know, Overshone coming off of injury. All right, he's like an extra rookie this year. They'll look at him that way. Some of those other younger players. Have they developed kind of like what we saw from Terrence Steele? And while we aren't aware of it, they are. And they're hoping that those guys can come and then deliver like Terrence did. Remember when we were in Oxnard and they kept telling us, you know, Terrence Steele was the best offseason guy. And we were like, we watched last year. And he's from San Antonio. We're rooting for this kid, but are yeah. you kidding? And Terrence Steele, he was right. Um, they have developed some players like that. Marquise Bell comes to mind. And, and so – maybe their concern with their roster isn't the same because of what they already have there, even though the rest of us are wondering what the hell they are doing. I know that does sound company line, and I'm not saying that you're not, but how much of their inactivity is because they already feel like they have already filled those spots. Well, <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, it, 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 you know, I understand where you're going here, but I, I, for me, I don't buy it. And because, look, they may look great on the practice field. They may be in the weight room every day. They may be doing this. Maybe they're faster a little bit. But you're not going to know if these guys can get it done until they get on the field in September. And even Mike McCarthy doesn't know what these players are going to be like until they get on the field in September. When you're talking about Overshone, maybe he is a guy. We all thought he was going to be good, but he's coming off an he's coming off an injury. Trayvon Diggs coming off a bad injury. How is he going to be? Is it going to take him time like it has done other players until he's ready to go? Uh, and, and until these guys get on the field, you can hope, you can see improvement in day to day activities, but you don't know how they're going to be until the action begins, and and that's in uh, that's in September. Well, and, and again, I, I I look at all right, second and third year jump. Is he talking about Mozzie Smith? Good be. I, I, is, I mean, he, is, is he fits ta- there? Yeah. Is he talking about Mozzie Smith? And one thing that I will say about Mike McCarthy, he's been very consistent with that, going back to his days as the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. Second and third year jumps, guys getting some improvement. You know, Stephen Jones has been telling us about Matt Walesco for a long time. Now, Matt Walesco has to get healthy. You know, maybe there's been a jump with some of those offensive line guys that they have seen that they're comfortable with. The, the reality is they still have to go prove it, to your point. But even some of these veteran guys, they come in and some are a disappointment, some aren't. A lot of the big free agent guys, and we talked about this at the beginning of free agency, and, and you know, so many of them don't work because they come in, they sign these massive deals, and they can never live up to the expectation of those of those deals. I'm just wondering, you know, should we put a little bit more, and not a lot, don't get me wrong, but do they feel like some of those holes they have filled because of what they've developed coming in and I do think a lot of the defense apart uh, departures, especially when I see the uh, $14 that Hankins is getting to go to Seattle, they just didn't want them. My, either the Cowboys didn't want them or Mike Zimmer didn't want them because literally he signed with Seattle for a 12-pack of flight by Yingling. Well, look, I mean, he, he, he was brought in to stop the run, and that didn't happen. Yeah. So he didn't get it done. Uh, Mozzie Smith, 
was drafted to stop the run, didn't get it done. Now, he could improve, and and a year's experience in the NFL, he's going to be better, or at least you you hope that he's going to be better. I, I just if, – if I'm looking to fill some holes, and they did that at linebacker with Kendricks, I might give him credit for that. But I think you need – it's, it's kind of like the Spurs and what we talk about. You know, I mean, yeah, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson improved in their fourth year, but they're still not there yet, and you need some veteran guys to come in and, and mix with those young guys. And I think it's the same with the, with the Cowboys. And I think they missed some opportunities to grab a couple of more pieces – veteran guys that they could plug in and and at least you know that these guys have played they've been in the league they've already had that second and third year jump and and i just think if they're relying on their young guys i think it's a hell of a gamble well it it, it certainly is kind of like you know hearing mike mccarthy say they're a championship team without a championship remember that one? i do we have established a championship program it's just not the world championship yet he literally said today that he has great confidence in their roster. Well, I think that, and also, it's, I mean, there's, there's a lot there's a lot left. So, I mean, it's you know, you'll probably have a market right before the draft or post-draft, and then you got your June 1st market, and, you know, obviously we'll have another draft class. So, I have great confidence in our roster. Yeah, great confidence in great our roster. Great confidence in our yeah, roster. Yeah. And did you hear the enthusiasm uh-huh. and conviction that, that he had with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, but yet – while he's a lame duck coach, he doesn't feel any additional pressure this year. I mean, I think as a coach, you really, you know, every year is, just, I mean, it's the same. I mean, let's let's be honest, and that's the way it's always been. You know, this is uh, personally, I've been in this spot. This will be the third time. You know, and it's and it's worked out, you know, f- very well for me. So uh, I'm 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 not really concerned about it. No, I'm glad he's not concerned about it. Again, it just seems set up to me for this Dallas Cowboys franchise right now with McCarthy on his final year, with Dak Prescott and his situation, it would have been, to me, the perfect time to just say, screw everything, we're going all in, we're going to sign the salary cap, be damned, and and go for it. And obviously they're not going to do that. They're going to go back to the same Cowboy game plan that they use year in and year out, and that's draft and develop. Draft and develop. Although – and that's what they're doing. Yeah, but, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, they used to be draft, develop, and pay. Yeah. Right? Um, now they're not even doing that. Their entire 2018 draft class, which was a good class. Yeah. Five of those seven picks, legit NFL dudes that are no longer with the Dallas Cowboys. Not one guy left from that draft class. Now, you look at Dak Prescott. Of course, Shefty couldn't talk to uh, a Dallas Cowboys official without trying to get some sort of scoopage on where they stand with the Dak Prescott contract extension. Dak is uh, he's a machine. He's, he's so diligent in his off-season prep. So he's he's already started his process. But yeah, he he's just getting ready to, to perform and and connect with the you know with the young players. You know, I, I think it's you know just the, the landscape of how we have to train in the off-season. It's important for your quarterback to have those you know private workouts and things like that. So that's really where his mind is. It's just really how can we improve in year two of our offense? And you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, we need to be a better complementary football team. You know, when the, when the defense isn't going well, the offense needs to pick up for them. And, and no difference when the offense isn't going well, the defense has to pick up for them. You know, I think this, if you look at our last game, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of complimentary football going on. Uh, no. There wasn't any football going on, was there? <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, I mean, Green Bay would argue that. They yeah. were playing good football. Uh, the Cowboys weren't. Ah. That was a great way to answer a question about a contract and not bring it up one time. Well, he's at work every day. Yeah, he's a machine. You know, the guy he's, is, he's a machine. He's yeah. invited everybody over to the house. They all get to catch uh, passes and change diapers. It's a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. I, I love you, a, Dad. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, look, McCarthy said all the right things here. He's not going to go against what his team or his management he said all the right things. What else are you going to say? I don't know what he says behind closed doors. If he says the same thing, God bless him. I, I have a feeling he doesn't. And there's got to be some concern with Mike McCarthy in the inactivity. And not just the inactivity, but the players that are have left and the holes that you have to fill. And even Mike McCarthy smart enough to know that young guy, you're not going to be able to fill them all in, in, in the draft. No. And even if you did draft every need that you have, they're rookies, and they're going to take some time. They're, they're going to so, take some time. It's got to be scary time they're, in they're, Dallas. Their first and second pick 
have to be impact players yeah. next year. Yes. I mean that because they weren't this year. Now this year's draft class, uh, this past year's looks awful. Now they did announce uh, in display, and you can buy it now. The new draft hat for this year. Oh, is you that know right? how they do every year? Wow, uh, that's a good looking hat. Yeah, that's a good looking hat. Where is it? Uh, is Jerry selling that? Well, of course he is. Oh, sure. Uh, I mean, I got an email about it and everything. Nice. You know, let's, let's see. If you're watching on YouTube, I can find this, or you could probably Google it. Uh, the Grab your new number one hat pick. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll, I'll show it to you on my phone. All Look right. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if you need to add to your collection, uh, I won't be ordering that one. But why not? Why won't you be? That's a good looking hat. Uh I, I, I mean, I bought, uh, I, I love the hat I got at uh, training camp last year. There, you can buy it out there. You're, you're training I'm, camp. I, I'm sure it will be there. I I mean, maybe I, mean, I will. I did about a left tackle, isn't it? It <laughs> is. Or a center. Uh, and that's what the Cowboys are good. That's what they better draft. Yeah. Is an offensive lineman. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing sexy about that. I don't need to commemorate that with a, a new hat. No. Just saying. It's going to be interesting. It is the Blitz here on 94 1 at San Antonio Sports Star. You know, injuries do happen, and when they do, you can skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, strains, conveniently located in the Cori area with extended hours Monday through Saturday. OrthoNow has everything you need. Um on-site x-ray casting, bracing. They got everything you need, but best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. So if you're injured, get to an OrthoNow injury clinic. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. That's TSAOG.com. Nothing beats March Madness. The pure sound of a swish. The rattle of a slam dunk. The fans on their feet for the big moments. And the action just keeps getting better until a national champion is crowned. Hear all the action with Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA men's and women's tournaments right here. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star and San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Now is the best time to buy a Kinetico water softener. With current models being closed out to make way for the new ones, you can say big. Call Kinetico at 656-PURE and tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. That's 656-PURE. Hey, we're David and Greg Figueroa, founders of Melinda's Hot Sauce. Sometimes brand testimonials feel, well, unbelievable. So we have a fresh take. Tasty Monials. Comments from real people on the internet who love Melinda's balance of hot meat and fresh, flavorful ingredients. At 2021, Dework says, legendary. <laughs> Nobody does it better. What was that? Sounds for fire emoji, touchdown emoji, and 100% emoji. Okay. At Snack Food Mafia says, I love how they are a thicker hot sauce and not some watery junk. Love it. At Mushroom writes, best hot sauce west of the Mississippi, also the best hot sauce east of the Mississippi. Pro tip, that's the whole United States. Finally, at IGP1 always says, smack so f hard. We love to hear that as much as the FCC. Set your mouth on flavor with Melinda's Hot Sauces. Find them at your local retailer or online at melindas.com. That's M-E-L. I N D A S dot com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24 7 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. 
Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Hey, it's Jim Rome, and it's great to be back in San Antonio. Join me weekdays at noon on my new home, 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix. Glad to have you along here on this Monday afternoon. Live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Lucky Ranch Road and Highway 90. We're here for about another 40 minutes. And then, Reinagle, you and I get to have a flight by Yingling. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. And, uh, yeah, that'll be nice. We just gave away a bunch of tickets out here at the uh, 90 Proof Bar and Grill. Well, it, it, you know, we, we gave away tickets to go see Creed yeah. and Breaking Benjamin. How about that? It, it would have been nice to know, like, all afternoon what we were doing that. Because we, we could have said, said hey, come, come over here, your chance to win Creed tickets. See, so it's kind of like one of those, if you were here, you you, yeah, you, you, you know, you, you got luck. You got a shot. You, you, got, a, you got a chance. But that's okay, because we, you know, we're going to be giving stuff away to uh, folks that are listening out there. In fact. Are we doing that right now, Pledge? You just texted us that we've got stuff to give away. Yeah, I just got Valero Texas Open tickets to give away. Saturday tickets. Saturday tickets. Saturday tickets. Awesome. You want a pair of tickets to go to the Valero Texas Open, which is coming up in a couple of weeks out of TPC San Antonio. These are Saturday tickets. If you want to go, be caller number nine right now, 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. Caller number nine, you're going to win tickets to go to uh, the Valero Texas Open, which is going to be a lot of fun. In fact, the Blitz is going to be live out there yeah. uh, that Thursday and Friday, as will the morning huddle. Oh, wow. Yeah. That'll be nice. RJ Ocho is going to make another appearance. He's, they've, he's they've, coming they've, in. Apparently, huh? if golf is involved, RJ's down. Well, sure. Why not? I don't blame him. I kind of like golf myself. Well, you know, what's interesting is uh, parents were playing in the golf tournament today. Yeah, they were. Wearing matching outfits. Uh huh. They were. I thought that was interesting. Uh, I I do too. And you know they were nice people. I they are very nice people. To RJ. Uh, they are very nice people. His parents really are. They really are. They're people. great. They're they, awesome. Yeah. But matching. And then you find out. Well, they they because you know they live in the valley. They drove in yesterday to play the golf club of Texas. You know they couldn't show up at a tournament at not having played a course before. Well, of course. Not. I mean, like yeah. serious serious golfers where they match. Well, they were going to play tomorrow somewhere too. Yeah. So. Good for them coming into town and having a little golf outing yeah, I, or two I, or three. I, what, what is your rule on matching for a golf tournament? And I say that, like, you and I are wearing basically the same shirt. It's a company shirt, right? Right. It's a station shirt. Different colors, right? though. Different colors. But, you know, if they're the same and they're matching and it looks like, you know, a uniform shirt, you know, that's one thing. But there was a force amount on the golf course today. That literally they all were wearing the exact same shirt. They were. It, it, I mean, like, all right, like planning for we're going to have a uniform. You know, there was not a logo on it. There was not. It wasn't like a company shirt like, hey, we're out representing, you know, PPL Motorhomes. We're, we're out here. We all went to the store and bought the exact same shirt and same color pants. Well, they said the shirt color was the color of their business building. Yes. The place that they work. Yes. Right? So it was their, their business. So they were trying to match that. Um, I, look, I, I don't have any problem with people that want to do that. I don't personally. I wouldn't do it. I, I just – that's personal. So you, you and Maggie, you guys play golf a lot together. Yes. If she put out a shirt and says, I'm wearing this and you're wearing that, are you going to tell her no? Well, I don't think she would do that. because oh, That's not what that. I asked. 
Well, I mean, if, in that ridiculous scenario, yes. <laughs> I mean, I would probably wear it, but I'm just saying she knows that I don't like to do that. And I don't think she does either, quite frankly. So, But, hey, if you're into it, I'm not against it, but I'm not going to do that. Boy, you sounded different off the air where you were making fun of all the people in the matching I didn't shirts. Ma- who, who, I don't know who you were talking to. Well, I was making fun of them, too. <laughs> like, like I, again, when those guys turned around and they all literally looked like they went to the store and bought the same shirt. Yeah. And yeah, their story was, well, our, our building is green, so we all got green shirts. They look sharp, though, uh, didn't I, they? I, well, I mean, all four of them. Um but in reality, like if they would have had their company logo on it, well, you know, at that point, you don't say anything. Right. Because, well, you know, it's a work shirt. Right. Y'all work together. Uh-huh. And, you know, you're out here representing your business or your boss gave you the day off. So you might as well. But just to, like, hey, Joe, we're going to Vegas. What are you going to wear? I'm going to let's let's wear the same shirt in Vegas on Thursday night when we go to dinner. Yeah. No, that ain't, that ain't happening. happening. That ain't happening. No. Now, you and I have uh, similar styles in clothes, so we might end up with something similar because you know i'm a what shade of blue polo am i going to wear most days well so sure. chances, chances of me showing up in a blue polo and you showing up in a blue polo that's possible. Are, 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 are possible that's a possibility the exact same yeah. polo yeah not necessarily no, that's not going to happen no like well today i mean got a couple of shirts out at the golf club of texas but they, they were completely different yes you know so there you go. There's two shirts, so I know we won't look alike. Yeah, well, that's true. Or like it's Super Bowl, like they, right? Like, you know, or, or some events that we have gone to where we bought shirts. You and I don't get the exact same shirt. No, we don't. Unless they were the free ones that, that everybody gets. But when we're shopping, it's yes, very very different. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of it, but if you are, props to you. Props. To, I got people on YouTube making fun of my white belt again. I, I, I mean. Dude, two white belts made an appearance here at 90 proof. I have no, a white there, belt. Were, there were more than no, no, there was a third one. Uh, three of the, was, uh, I think you saw the same guy twice. Well, no, nobody, nobody checked. We, we didn't check. There were a lot. No, there, there, were, there, were, there were three. Nobody checked. There, there now, see, Shelton went over there and tried to talk to some of the salespeople that are over there. Nobody got up. Nobody checked. So yeah, it's, it's no. There was more than three. See, Rudolph Gonzalez says, I guess Maggie doesn't wear a white belt. No, it, no, because when we play golf, Maggie, you know, wears a nice golf skirt. You know, it's a it's a golf outfit. So you don't they, wear they a don't, belt with a skirt? They don't require, uh-huh. no, belts. And then, but then Fred. I haven't worn a white belt since my eighth grade school dance. He's old, apparently. Well, I guess. Fred, you ought to try it, buddy. I don't know if you're a golfer or not, but uh, you know it's 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 perfect. It goes with everything. I I, I I will say, Pledge has a white belt. Yeah, I uh, uh, Pledge. Although, sure, uh, they, they, there were there were a handful of white belts out there today. No, there were a there, lot there, more there than there you were thought. Zero white belts for sale in the pro shop. And I will say this: Yeah, there was more than I thought because I've never really thought about white belts until you made it right. uh, a, a topic. Uh, you 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 planted that seed, and and so you know, and we saw a guy that had gray shoes on and a white belt. That was such a fashion faux pas. What I've learned actually from you, Joe Reinagle, because you wear the white belt with your uh, white golf shoes. I do, and and depending on what the outfit is, right? I mean, if I'm I'm not going to wear it if I'm wearing like uh, I don't know black shorts and some kind of you know darker shirt or whatever. You won't be a white belt there. Why? I mean, that that would definitely signify a border. Well, it would, but I wouldn't do that. But would would, would you wear white shoes with that? Uh, No, I've got some gray shoes. I'd probably wear with that. But uh, you know, you got to you got to look good on the course. Yeah, you got to. Jacob Harris says, "Screw it, I'm getting a white belt." You should. Everybody should own one, especially if you're a golfer. Why? Because you should just own one. Just another thing to clutter up the closet. No, you wear it. It's 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 a fashion statement. Yeah, you look good, I, and I, when you look good, you play good. Well, see now, Bobby Stanley, our good friend from Tri County Meat Market, is a fashion statement he's, on the golf course. I'm not sure what statement he's making, but he is a statement. Yes, and, and uh, he thinks he looks good. Um, Bobby looks good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Bobby's not going to get lost. No. Uh, there, there will not be a senior alert on Bobby Stanley on the golf course. And maybe that's the idea. It might be. Um, but he thinks he looks good, but uh, 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 playing good is, is, is that, that the uh, that kind of goes against your theory. Look good, play good. Well, he obviously didn't have a white belt on. I don't know if you would have noticed the white belt with all the different well, colors he, he was wearing. I noticed he didn't have a white belt on. Oh, and, you, you were and, checking out the man's well, belt? And that's, well, yeah. I mean, it's just, you look at the outfit. You, the outfit? The outfit. The, the whole thing? Sure. The whole thing? Right. You're going there. <laughs> I said outfit. I mean. I mean, wearing shorts and a golf shirt. There's not much outfit to check out. Uh-huh. So you want to make sure. Yeah, he's kind of belts a man got on. That actually crosses your mind. It's imp- not really. I just <laughs> I specifically remember him not having a white belt on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it is the blend. Four one San Antonio sports star Shohei speaks, delivers a statement, claims one hundred percent innocence in what's going on. We'll dive into that and get you ready for Spurs Suns tonight. At at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch Road. We're on air for another 30 minutes, and then we get to have a flight by Yingling, and we need one. Yes, we do. Yeah, we, we definitely need one. If you are having issues at your house and you need to call a plumber or an AC guy, you know the best company to call is Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heating, and AC. 210-651-5899 is the phone number, 651 651- 5899. At Quarter Moon, they are full service. Big job, small job, residential or commercial. Their service trucks are fully stocked and they have all the equipment needed for any job. No commission sales reps. They'll provide estimates and second opinions and they have a great experienced staff that has earned an A-plus ranking with the Better Business Bureau. And at Quarter Moon, they are green certified. If you do need a new AC unit, Quarter Moon right now is running a special for a limited time. All 14 SEER up to 3-ton AC systems are just $69.99 installed. So call Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heating, and AC. 210-651-5899, 651-5899, or go online at QuarterMoonPlumbing.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Tuesday on the Morning Huddle. The golf course is done. We have cleaned up and packed up. Let's talk about what we did on what was a fantastic day. How did the Spurs do in their second game against the Suns? We'll react. Plus, have the Dallas Cowboys done anything? You know the answer. The morning huddle starts at 6. George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-385-9302 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 
800-385-9302. That's 800-385-9302. What do you have to lose? Call 800-385-9302. Again, 800-385-9302. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. World Championship Box coming to... Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 as San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix. Live on this Monday afternoon at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, Highway 90, Lucky Ranch Road. We are 22 minutes away from a flight by Yingling in our future. It was our golf tournament today. And, you know, sold out golf tournament. Everybody seemed to have a great time yes. out there. Yes. Uh, winning team, uh, 53 under, right? Um which almost doesn't seem possible, but well, I don't uh, think it was fifty-three. No. I think it was a score of fifty-three, which would have been nineteen under. You can't be fifty-three. Well, that's under. Right, but the guy to, uh, they they told me fifty-three, and I'm like, seriously? There's no way. Yeah, I'm with you. They shot a fifty. They shot a fifty-three. A nineteen under. I'm not really buying that because there was a guy bitching. They were fifteen under, and uh, somehow got eighth place. I could see fifteen or nineteen under. I mean, that happens in charity tournaments. Yeah. I can see that, but fifty-three under. I mean, it's been that's, a long that's day. Impossible. I mean, it's been a long day. I mean, that's you're right. That's, yeah, be like yeah. eagles on every hole and a couple of hole in ones to boot. I think that probably happened. Well, I don't. I think mean, so. look, I heard some stories here with people enjoying those flight by Yinglings talking about how great they did. I'm sure they did. Yeah. I mean, not a guy in here had a bad shot all day, <laughs> and a lot of people had a lot of really good shots. Um, even pledges like nineteen under also feels unrealistic. Right. But, well, I mean, I mean there, there, there were some some things happens. out there. Uh, all, all our great sponsors that were out there. Um, appreciate everybody supporting the tournament. If you've been, you understand. Um, apparently, the Roop Hub had the best hole again. I've heard a lot of people say that. Absolutely. Uh, Big Blind was out there. Slackers, they were out there. Uh, Thirsty Horse, they also had a fantastic hole. They did. They did. Uh, what was it? Scissors and Scotch. Yeah. They had a great hole. I mean, everybody that was out there had a good hole and well, and, uh, and stuff to and, do. And what I love, and if you've ever thought about a business sponsoring a hole, Natasha Reynoso's Farmers Insurance Agency, they were very active on their hole. They brought out a uh, washer game where you're playing yeah. washers and giving away some really cool prizes. They were. Uh, you know, that's the way to do it, right? You're selling insurance, but you know, let's let's let, let's have something to do at at the hole while while the guys are waiting to go. Yes. Um. If you're not going to be giving away uh, shots uh, and, and that sort of stuff, because man, we were trying to play washers for a long time, and it's been a long time since I played washers. Um. I need to practice. Well, it it didn't help that the wind was blowing, and the washers would like, I mean, you either hook it or slice it. 
yeah. depending on what what uh, what side you were on. But uh, and, yeah, that was fun. Something to do. and and what was great is uh, you and I got to we got in the golf cart, just traveled around and met a lot of nice folks today. It was uh, it was good. Saw just about everybody that was in the tournament uh, and uh, met a lot of nice people today. So thank you all for coming out and supporting us. Absolutely, a fantastic day. Uh, and if you're a golfer, our fall golf tournament will be right around the corner. Oh, yeah. You know, we do two a year, and they're always a great time. Golf Club of Texas was a fantastic host today, that is for sure. Now, some of the big news today, and there's a lot to get into. Shohei Otani did deliver a statement today. He didn't take questions from reporters. He spoke, and then his interpreter spoke. The whole thing was about 10 minutes, so the way they... They did it is Shohei would read a line or two and then the interpreter would come in. So we're not going to play you just like, here's what he had to say. Because when I heard statement, I thought, well, all right, this is going to be 38 seconds. Right. I didn't know anything. And it does get into quite a bit of detail. The biggest thing. Now, this is Shohei's uh, interpreter. Um, the new one, not the one that got fired, obviously, <laughs> but but the new interpreter. Uh, you imagine first week on the job as the new interpreter, and this is what you're doing, something that everybody's going to be talking about. And, and really, right off the bat, Shohei, I never made a bet. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. Okay. I, I believe that. Okay, I, I I can buy that. I have no issue with it. So that wasn't the story. The well, story was he paid off the debts of his interpreter. Although, uh, uh, now, uh, the original story, then the change story, then there's also the fact that, you know, Shohei says he didn't know about any of this until just a couple of days ago. Up until a couple of days ago, I didn't know that this was happening that, yeah, that's it. They, that's no, it. They, they, no. <laughs> and and uh, wait, you think I paid off this guy's bet? No, that dude stole from me. In conclusion, uh, Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. How is he stealing money from his account? Well, because as Shohei's interpreter said that Shohei said, uh, Ipe never told him about the gambling debt. Ipe never revealed to me that there was this media media inquiry, and uh, to the representatives to in my camp, he told Ipe told uh, to the media and to my representatives that I, you know, on behalf of a friend, uh, paid off uh, debt. Again, is is I mean, did Shohei give this guy? complete access to his bank account i mean this is what it sounds like and so this guy's just going in and, and grabbing money whenever he whenever he can whenever he has the opportunity and nobody knows that four and a half million dollars is missing i i mean at, at, at some point I, in a granted i don't know uh how often is shohei checking his account but you would think somebody would have somebody noticed is. that but the bank, you know, if they told the representatives that he was paying off the debts and that's just simply not true, according to Shohei's interpreter. Upon, upon further questioning, it was revealed that it was actually, in fact, Ipe who had who was in debt and told my representatives that I was paying off those debts. OK, so it, it almost sounds like. The interpreter, Ipe was telling whoever handles the money. Well, Shohei said this was cool. All right. Well, I, I mean, doesn't it kind of feel that way? Well, then that dude should be fired. Well, you don't uh, you don't pick up the phone and say, hey, Shohei. Are you sure? Ipe says he needs 500 grand and you're OK with it. I, I, I mean, I, 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 it's, it still doesn't add up. I, I mean, you know, Shohei and I, I don't know if you're so rich so focused on baseball, so used to everybody doing everything for you that you could be this out of the loop on your personal finances. I can see, like, you've got your business manager. He probably pays all your bills. Like, you've never paid off your Valero bill. You've never, 
you know, you know, paid off the Southwest credit card and checked how many miles you are and if if you're a list or, or, or not. Right. Um, I, I just look at, you know, so many and I, like do you not do anything. But at the same time, you've got a group and yeah, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. He said he wants a new car. Go buy him one. Or, or I, I mean, I could see where you're just that rich and your circle is that tight that this guy wouldn't lie to that guy if and do you question it and and then sometimes i wonder from a a cultural standpoint and and i am not versed in and uh, uh you know like do you question this guy who's close to that guy like like there's the accountant guy if he were to call Shohei and say you know if they said i could do this Shohei, of course, man, he can do what he wants. Why are you calling me about that? I mean, do they have that kind of a relationship? I, I don't know it, but that's how they're trying to make it sound like like Shohei must have given this guy carte blanche and nobody questions that guy. Like if he had that kind of power within Shohei's circle, then I would buy this. That's the only way I buy that Shohei had no knowledge or nobody else would question this interpreter when asking to do that if Shohei truly had no knowledge. Unbelievable. I, I just can't imagine the $4.5 million can just disappear out of Shohei's uh, bank account without somebody saying something to Shohei Otani. I mean, I, I don't know. But this is going to continue on. And, Jason, I just saw this uh, from Woj, a tweet from Woj, saying Toronto Raptors center John Tay Porter is out of the lineup and subject of an NBA investigation into irregularities on prop betting involving him. See, and that's, you know, with gambling legal in most states, not Texas, <laughs> that in the advertising, which we all know advertising works, support our advertisers, Absolutely. that keeps us in business. Yes. Uh, but with that, making sure people aren't betting and, and then betting on themselves. Now, if he says prop bets, if he's on underdog fantasy and is going higher, all right, I, I, I'd almost be okay with that or we're okay with that. But if he's looking at, you know, higher or lower and uh, goes lower, then I got a big – and that's, that's the fear that these leagues and why I think it's – despite what we heard from Shohei today – that Manfred has to really pay attention and be very careful here because while Shohei can say what he wants, with the federal government's tracing him through wire transfers, knowing that transfers that big face banking regulations, yes, that it's still hard for me to believe that Manfred could just let Shohei go completely unpunished here just for his involvement because – this could set a, a precedent that Major League Baseball doesn't want to deal with because then the next guy, oh, I, I'll, I'll just blame a guy in my camp. I didn't know. I mean, you know, to think if you're a, if you're a pro athlete that has to gamble, I know, let, let's say Joe Reinagle is, you know, a star pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, and Joe Reinagle is a, a degenerate gambler. Well, Joe, one of those things is true. Joe knows <laughs> he can't make that bet. But Joe's got a good friend, his his brother Randy. Randy, will you make these bets for me? And maybe you go, okay, well, Randy can't do it because that's my brother, so somebody might might think it's – so I'm going to call a grumpy-ass Greg Shelton, you know, my engineer, and Greg's going to make all these bets for me. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll cut him off a little every every time I win. I, that can happen. That's sure. not so easy that it could happen, but that's what these leagues have to guard against, and that's what kind of feels like could be going on. I say could be going on here. Well, and, it's it's they got Greg will do anything for you, and if it oh, means yeah. a couple years in jail and you get busted, you know he'd gladly do that for well, me. I mean, he? I mean, he would. I mean, he wouldn't have to talk to a whole lot of people. He'd be, you know, outside an hour a day. I mean, I think you know it'd be a perfect life yeah. for Greg. Yeah, he he would love that life. Yeah, I'm you sure. TV, uh -huh. you know. TV, <laughs> probably a very special friend. <laughs> as long as you're out before the soap hits the floor, you're in good shape. I guess so. Man. There's just a lot more to investigate than so Tony things. A lot of stuff just doesn't just doesn't pass the smell test. I mean, it just does not. So um, it will continue, I'm sure. Somebody look, somebody, even a reporter. 
there got to be a reporter out there digging into this. Uh, you know, if, if even if Major League Baseball won't, the feds are still involved. They've got to still be digging into that. And so uh, it's um, – I, I think there's more to the story, and it's going to come out. Otani did what he thought he needed to do today, deny everything. That's probably what he was advised to do by his uh, attorneys. And uh, he's done that, so we'll see where it goes from here. And, and on this Porter situation, this is something that we, we certainly have to continue to follow. Uh, apparently, increased betting interest on the under for Porter props in a game on January 26 against the Clippers. That night, Porter played four minutes before leaving the game due to what the Raptors said was a re-aggravation of an eye injury he had suffered four days earlier in a game against Memphis. He did not score in the game against the Clippers, had three rebounds, one assist, did not attempt the three, meaning the under hit on all the props. The next day, as part of a daily report to users, uh, DraftKings reported that the under on Porter's three-pointers was the biggest money winner for betters of any NBA player prop from games that evening. Wow. On March 20th, in a game against Phoenix, Porter played three minutes before leaving the game due to what the Raptors said was an illness. He did not return. He did not score, attempted, or and missed one shot, had two rebounds. The next day, DraftKings reported to its users, Porter's prop bets were the number one moneymaker from that night in the NBA. Well, see, I mean, that that is something that's got to concern the NBA in every professional sports league. Something like that, because it clearly sounds like Porter had a group or a couple of people that was saying, look, bet the under. I'm going to fake an injury or I'm going to do this. Yeah, yeah. That. You, that that right there is a killer. It's a red flag. It, well, sure. But it's a killer of that league. If that is, is true and you've got players doing that, you talk about the integrity of the game and gambling together. Boy, that's that's when it gets scary when that kind of stuff happens. Speaking of the NBA, Spurs, they've got the Suns tonight. This is the AA Best Bell Bonds Game Night San Antonio on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Every game night, the Blitz with Jason and Joe get you inside and ready for tonight's game. Players, coaches, insiders, this is is the AA Best Bail Bonds Game Night San Antonio. The pregame show starts now. Yeah, kind of abbreviated with no Wemby tonight, the way the Spurs just flat got destroyed by these same Phoenix Suns on Saturday night down at the Frost Bank Center. And you got to figure without Wemby tonight, although he didn't play well uh, on Saturday night, so I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference. Uh, well, I haven't seen anything on Durant or uh, Beal or um, uh, or Booker, and all of those guys going to play, it could be very ugly down there tonight. It, it, it might be. It was so ugly the other night. And I know James Pledger was, was in the building for uh, that game, got some good tickets, and the game was so bad, even with the good tickets, he left early. Uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll tell you about his in-game experience and the first time that he saw Wemby in person and what a disaster it was. Now, you can't blame Wemby. And I'll tell you what, there are a lot of unhappy Spurs fans that we were talking to uh, today at, 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 the, uh, at, at our golf tournament over at the Golf Club of Texas. They're still in on the Spurs. They're just unhappy. Oh, sure. I was talking to one guy who bought an eight-game package. And of the five games that he's gone to... He said, I'm 0-5. Yeah. Well, I mean. Now, granted. Yeah, but the you, odds are in his favor. I, I mean, uh, you know, but, you know, just, uh, you know, like like I think everybody is ready for this season to be over. Yes. And, and see what is next. Because the future is so bright with Wemby. But, man, we've got to get to that future faster than right now. Because this is just awful. It's terrible. Uh, it's awful, and, and I, I can't wait to see what they do uh, in the offseason. And I think that's what everybody's thinking about. And, and uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, veterans, bring in some veterans. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, need, we need to do that. Um, I, I don't know about you. I'm going to have a nice cold beer. Yeah, I'm going to do light by Yingling that yes. just, just got handed to us. It just happened. If you're watching on yeah. YouTube. You can see wow. how, oh, my goodness, how cold oh, this yeah, bottle is. In. 
Look yeah, at that. Look at, look at that, Pledge. Uh, wow. Look at that. Now, granted, you know, Pledge, you say rub it in. We have been at the golf course all day watching a lot of people uh, drink lots of these flight by Yanglings, do lots of shots, and every time, hey, do you want one? No, we've got to go to work. Yeah. So this is a well-earned uh, flight by Yingling. This is going to be uh, very, very good here. In, uh, you still in, got in work to do, Pledge. Yeah, Pledge, you've got another hour. Extra innings with Pledge coming up next here on the Blitz. Want to thank everybody that came out yes. to the uh, golf tournament today that participated. Just saw a tweet from Chip Ingram, who has the Roo Pub and, and the Big Blind uh, winning tourney team today. I don't care what got turned in. See, there, <laughs> there you go. Uh, claim your victory, Chip. There, there is certainly nothing wrong with that. I didn't see a score that. there from Chip and his team. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure they were 21 under. I'm sure they were. Yeah. yeah. They were playing blackjack at uh, at the big blind hole. Yeah. They 21. See, I think they were. He should have just turned in. and They were 21 under. Blackjack. Here we go. Boy, that's, a, uh, that's quite the group there. Isn't that it? was quite the group. I'm sure, I'm sure with Lumpy in the picture, they had to have won. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I, I've seen Lumpy Golf. That definitely had to be the <laughs> the winning team. They bought more mulligans than anybody <laughs> else. Uh, I can promise you that. Spurs do play tonight. You got Sweet 16 uh, coming up. If you want to add some excitement to your basketball watching, make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app. With the tournament here, your bracket's probably already busted, not looking great. Keep in the action by playing the Pick'em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big. Up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. You can create your own experience. It is fantasy, but it is legal in at Texas. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up using my promo code STAR, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use on your first pick.